Yeah, KFC. Yeah, it's a dating sim. I know. I only didn't install it because I was playing it on my PlayStation 5. It's so... There's a lot of files. There's a lot of files in there and... I might just complete it on my on my PlayStation maybe because now we have it synced and I think if we if I save it here it might sync the PlayStation I don't know I just thought it was a lot I just thought it was a lot so okay hold on I'm so upset I'm so upset by you this might be a little loud no, I haven't started dirge. No, I've been waiting to play with you, to be honest. I feel like we were going to do that. <gasps> Jess played this. I love that. I love this. Oh, jeez. I'm so sorry. It's so fucking loud. Bear with me. Hold on, I turn it down for you. It's fucking so loud in my ears. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Is that song? KFC? Settings, turn this shit down. Jesus. Okay, here, here we go. Got to add like what? Seven and a half, whatever. Okay, is that good volume? Is that okay? We can turn up a little. No. We want music sound effects maybe a lot lower. Okay, full screen. Okay, new game. Finger licking good. Yeah. Okay, I, yeah, I would like to do dirge with you. Mostly because I feel like you will know what choices we need to make to do that. Oh my gosh, what should my name be? Should it just be Marissa? Should I have them like say my name? Z. Z? You think it should just be Z? What about cops? No, we don't, we don't like cops. We'll just do my name. Oh my gosh, look at the, uh, the, 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 the bread. Ooh, how romantic. Ooh. <laughs> do it, Johnny. You sleep softly as the morning sun casts a warm glow through the window of your modest student apartment. The world is peaceful and serene. You could stay in the moment forever. <gasps> or you could wake up now, now, now. Your first day of culinary school is no time to sleep in. Oh my God, smack that clock up and at him. Lying in bed, you stare at the ceiling, thinking about everything that awaits you at this prestigious University of Cooking School, Academy for Learning. Your mind begins to wander. Who will be there? What will you cook? What should you wear? What time to fly by? Well, time begins, what the fuck? Time begins to fly by and you find your imagination getting away from you. You need to take this seriously. Allow yourself to daydream a bit, thinking about the future. We daydream. It's here, finally, your first day of culinary school. So many dishes to prepare, so many students to meet. Hold on, I need to um, change my category really quick, so don't mind me. Conosanda. Golano. What is this game called? I love you, Colonel Sanders, a finger. Yeah, there we go. I don't think anyone is <laughs> watching this game right now, and that's fine. <laughs> okay. 
Your first day of culinary school, so many dishes to prepare, so many students to meet. Your mind is swimming with possibilities when you realize you're running late. You grab a biscuit and burst out the door in a hurry. Delicious, just what you needed to wake up those taste buds. Yum, I would love it. Yikes, you're in such a hurry, in fact, that you forgot to put on any deodorant before running out the door. You're sweating buckets as you rush to arrive on time. Uh-oh. Standing in the quad, you gaze upon the magnificent university of cooking school, semicolon, academy for learning. Oh my gosh, do you think that they're gonna say that I smell delicious? I love your scent. Here comes your lifelong best friend forever, Miriam. She's the most adorably awkward person you've ever met and you absolutely love her for it. Good morning, Marissa. Are you excited for the first day of the rest of our lives? Actually, I'm because I sure am excited, a little nervous. Okay, okay, a lot nervous. What's the... It's just that this morning I made breakfast for myself, but when, well, when I ate it, I couldn't taste any love in the food. What if I'm no good? What if I fail? To be young and have aspirations, I feel that so hard. Classic Miriam, Raised by master chef parents, she's always held herself to a very high standard. Ever since we were little babies playing together and you rescued me from that quicksand box, it's been clear to me that you're the most loving, caring person I know. You're gonna do great. <laughs> but with University of Cooking School, semicolon, Academy for Learnings, famous three-day only semesters, I'm afraid of being left behind and never catching up. A sweet girl, Miriam has always had a flair for the dramatic but the this summer she got so nervous about our first kiss that she chipped a tooth practicing on a mannequin should you pep talk her or change the subject to give her some relief um let's give her a pep talk remember last month when we saw the fortune teller and had our tarot card cards read the lady with the mask who gave me nightmares? I've been trying to forget. I know she looks spooky, but she was so sweet. And she told you that you were destined for great things. What you doing? Ugh, whatever, you're gonna sleep. No, not. I wanna put my headphones on and listen sensually. Oh my goodness. Tell me if the, if the volume's too loud, because this loud is fucking my ears. Remember that card with a fancy looking tower and the other card featuring the handsome fellow in the red suit? It's a little loud. Oh, okay, hold on. I don't know if I can change the setting. What the fuck is this popcorn bucket mean? I'll, I can turn it down in here. I'll just suffer. Is that a little bit better? I've been waiting so long to meet a handsome fellow I could call my own. Oh my god, Jess! We were just talking about ya! Oh my goodness. Jess, and just in time for a baby! Jess, it's our baby! What should we name it? Should it be... Majessa? Uh... The name playing? Jess, thank you so much. Thank you so much for the sub. We have Majessa. <laughs> How majestic of her. <laughs> I'm old. I make old jokes now. Huh. Well, good morning, Jess. I hope you're doing well. Hope you're having a good week. <laughs> We were just talking about you playing this game. <laughs> uh, and then I need your fucking big old cup of coffee. Like, I need your big mug. I need it filled entirely of coffee. Oh my god, no, you've been crazy sick. Uh... Well, you know, you can, you know, you can clip stuff. <laughs> this man. This man, the moderator that does nothing. <laughs> I'm sorry, babe. <laughs> he 
he went to go lay on the couch and I was yelling at him. No, I hope you feel better soon. Are you feeling any... <laughs> Are you feeling better, Jess? Any clippers? Like literally anyone in chat can clip also. <laughs> yes, it's right there. Press the audio player. It's right there. It says full screen. It says fucking ch chat mode. It says clip. It's it's the stand. It's the basics. It's the basic interface. I will say that clipping shit on mobile is a little. Uh, yeah, today's the day. Yeah, you're gonna learn. Today's the day you learn how to clip your own clips. Stop pawning it off on other people, okay? <laughs> okay, okay, heartfelt cooking, blah, blah. As you talk Miriam up, you can feel her nerves begin to ease. You know what? Maybe everything will be okay after all. And if not, at least I have these killer bangs. So true, Miriam. Can you believe I cut them myself? Me too, Miriam! Oh my gosh, she's just like me. No wonder we're besties. You can definitely believe it. I cannot believe it. What? You're rudely interrupted when someone smacks your books. I thought I was going to say smacks your ass. And custom engraved measuring spoons out of your hands and onto the ground. Hey! It's Ashley. Ashley, your arch nemesis. She's totally evil. What the fuck's wrong with my voice? <laughs> and you can't help but be filled with jealousy. She can get everything she wants and she knows it. Hello, Ashley. Oh, I didn't see you there, chicken shins. You leave Marissa's shins alone. How does she know I have chicken shins? Ha, this game is personally attacking me. They are perfectly normal shins. Thank you, Miriam. Ugh, you can't stand Ashley. Even her name is annoying. For real, Ashley. You know for a fact that it's actually Ashley, but she had to act, add extra letters to make herself feel better than everyone. If anyone knows here what perfect shins look like, it's us. You get her. We're not going to let you or your really weird insults get to us. Across the quad, you see Ashley's best friend, Van Van, the man-man, has stomped to look at his own reflection in the mirror. His pants are so tight, you can see him casually working out his glutes while he styles his hair. No lie, they're rocking glutes. <clears throat> Van Van, you rang rang. You've never been sure what their arrangement is, but as long as you've known them, Ashley and Van Van have just been as close as you and Miriam, but substantially more devious. I can't believe that the University of Cooking School Semicolon Academy for Learning would ever allow people like you to attend as students. Honestly, I need to too. I need to too. I know, right? You'd think they'd just hand us our diplomas now. Or maybe hire us on as professors. You amateurs could learn a lot from us. With the first day of school about to start, there is just not time to properly tell these two off. So you resist the urge. Let's go, Miriam. Psh, see you later, losers. Oh my god. Okay, never mind. We need a hot shower after this one. As you approach the door, you see a goofy looking kid pushing hard against the window directly next to it. Ifly, I think it's broken. You reach forward and easily pull the door open. Ah, uh, that should do the trick. I love you. 
I think you mean thank you? My name is Pop. I was named after my papa. He's odd. Could someone like this be a student at the school? He must be one heck of a chef. Also, his name tag is clearly Bob, but I guess he's reading it upside down. Hi, Pop. I'm Marissa. So, are you going to make me hold this door all day? <gasps> nope. And with that, the young man walks into the building ahead of you. Is it just me or is he kind of cute? <gasps> I think it's just you. You both shrug your shoulders before following him into the building. You stand at the edge of the room, unsure where to sit. Other students wander in and keep themselves busy chit-chatting. Okay, hold on. Does this bring me to the... Okay, hold on. Oh my god, we can do it. Yeah, Jesus Christ. Okay, hold on. Let me let me just uh, turn this back up for you guys. That was really loud for me. Resume. A scruffy looking pooch takes his place at the podium at the front of the class. Adorable. Now, now, quiet down, everyone. <gasps> Who is this unreasonably cute pup and why is he in our culinary class? You must be Sprinkles, head instructor and CEO of UCS semicolon AL. Please call me Professor Dog. I may be cute and a little fluffy, but I still demand respect. <gasps> Woof. What? A cute dog is our professor? This is the best school ever! I'm trying to be like really anime. <laughs> I guess only a dog's nose is capable of picking up all the nuances of fine dining. Out of nowhere, wind begins to rush around you as a swirl of cherry blossom petals fill the air inside the classroom. I'm chilly, someone close the window. And then, he walks in. You're immediately swept up in the aura of this new student and his remarkable goatee. Who knew anyone could be so handsome? Time stands still. It's him. It's, well, if it isn't my favorite student, Harland. Colonel Sanders interrupts Sprinkles. Sorry, Professor Dog, before he can finish his sentence. Please call me Colonel. Colonel Sanders. A hushed murmur rolls through the classroom as Colonel Sanders walks down the aisle of desks. Suddenly, the room is sweltering. Sweat begins to beat across your brow. You feel like everyone is looking at you, and you're not entirely wrong. And this over here must be sweaty. Sweats a lot. Maybe we should open the window back up before faucet pits melts into a puddle and evaporates entirely. Hold on just a second. No one talks to my friend like that. You two both know my name. We're in the same kindergarten class. And what is it with all your really weird insults? Besides, when Marissa sweats a lot, it's not gross. It's a beautiful. Look at that shimmer. You turn to find Colonel Sanders standing right in front of you. Colonel Sanders, beautiful angel that he is, stands before you, smiling gently, his hand outstretched. Uh, Hi, culture. <laughs> We're having a blast. I am, I am not ready for this culture work quite yet. Let's get him out of this apron first. Boy, howdy. This classroom gets hotter than a Kentucky fryer. Culture, thank you so much, dude. I appreciate it. I hope you're doing well. I hope you you and the wife are doing well. Thank you for stopping in. I am kind of obsessed with this. It's great. Please use my handkerchief. Ah! You freeze up. Colonel Sanders is talking to you. Wait, Colonel Sanders is talking to you about how sweaty you look? You're completely mortified. This can't be your first interaction. What if he never forgets this moment? How will you respond? Take the handkerchief. I'm gonna wipe my sweat on that, hell yeah. You stretch out your hand and Colonel Sanders places a fine silk handkerchief in it. 
It's so beautiful. You hesitate to press it to your face, but when you do, the feeling is transcendent. It, it, it has his natural scent on it. It smells of the most delicious chicken you've ever smelled. Professor Dog set, steps in to settle the class down and get some ground rules. Welcome to University of Cooking School, semicolon, Academy for Learning. <laughs> the greatest culinary academy in the world. The birthplace of culinary legends past, present, and future. Many challenges await you. There will be tears. There will be blood. There might even be really adorable tiny food. And when all is said and done, there will be a battle. You will lift your sporks and compete in the broom cooking arena. Just then, another student enters the classroom and interrupts the professor's rousing speech. Hi guys, sorry I'm late. I hope everyone had a good summer. I really miss quiet. Late to class is bad enough, but interrupting my monologue? You are on the fast track out of here, young man. Are you sure you're even in the right place? Don't you recognize me? This is my third year in this school with you as my teacher. Everyone stares at him blankly. Does no one remember me? I'm... You're expelled if you utter one more word before I finish. Let that be a lesson to you students that tardiness is unacceptable. Even Clank made it here on time, rolling halfway across town on his tiny wheels. You turn to see the student Sprinkles is referencing, who appears to be some sort of industrial kitchen appliance. What the fuck is going on? The class bursts into laughter. Oh, Clank, you rascal. Sprinkles walks in the classroom as everyone stands in silent obedience. When he gets to you, he lifts his nose into the air and takes a deep sniff. Gamer Dad, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Hmm, your diet is lacking. Based on what I'm picking up here, you definitely need a multivitamin. You should be taking better care of yourself. How do you stir fry an Endor on Endor with an Ewok? I love that. Your birthday is in two days. Happy early birthday, Gamer Dad. Look at us Pisces go. Look at us Pisces go. I really want to post that we are streaming this game. Let's see. Colonel Sanders dating sim Let's see if we can get a sticker sorry KFC Oh my gosh Farva it is good we're having a really good time with this game I think it's so silly you might have missed trash day, but you put out your trash just in case. Dude, I hate missing trash day. It sucks because then you have like a whole thing full of trash and you're... Okay, hold on. AI stickers. No, I want to get KFC. Why can't I search for KFC? It was bad when we first moved into our house because we um, we had to buy a lot of furniture because our house was much smaller than this one. So we bought a bunch of furniture for this house and we had just cardboard on cardboard on cardboard. Like every week our cardboard or recycling bin was filled. And if we missed a week, it was fucked. Like our whole garage was filled with cardboard boxes. Okay, I guess I can't... Hmm... How do you add like a sticker, sticker, AI stickers? Are those the new things on Instagram? I want, okay. I want to do a KFC dating sim. We'll just do that sticker. Okay, and then I'll just do a link. Sorry, I'm just gonna, I just keep wanna, wanting to post that I'm doing stuff on stream. 
Excuse me, as I am a, just a social media manager right now. Twitch.tv slash namecop is an invalid link. I don't think so. Valid URL. Okay, I guess we could do HTTP. Twitch.tv slash namecop. This is what I put in every time. Okay, maybe I should put www. Sorry, we're having a time here. Please enter valid URL. I'm over it. We'll just put it out of that. Which game is this? This is the Colonel Sanders dating sim. It is very silly. We are just getting started on it. But it's a free game that's actually, I think it's actually made by KFC. <laughs> it's very silly. I'm pretty sure they did, yeah. Let me see, is it on uh, Steam, if we could look? Yeah, from the same people who brought you the bucket of chicken comes the world's first Colonel Sanders dating sim. That a game that KFC actually made, yeah. It, it's crazy. It's really crazy. Yeah, so I'm I'm into it. I, I think it's really funny. I also wish I was in this department. This is fun. <laughs> okay. Um, I never had a, a talking dog as a teacher before, but Sprinkles' reputation for being smart but tough is well known. You decide to try and butter him up by giving him a treat from your pocket, but what kind? Chicken snack, a rubber ball, a beef treat. Jesus Christ. I'm gonna just go with a safe chicken. This is a chicken thing. I think we'll go chicken snack, right? You reach beneath your apron and return with a chicken snack in your hand. Sprinkles' eyes go wide as he locks onto it. His favorite. Well, 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 I think there might be some competition for a new star student. The furry professor immediately devours the snack, leaving your hand slick with a coat of wet, of warm doggy drool. I think we might need that cold shower now. <laughs> you see the other students eyeing you jealously, but pay no mind to them. If they wanted to succeed in life, they should have learned the importance of carrying a range of dog treat flavors on them at all times. Settle down, young chefs. Take your seats and prepare to have your minds open to the amazing possibilities of culinary creation. As everyone rushes to claim their favorite seats, you're left standing at the front of the room. Only two options remain. Hey, Marissa, there's a seat here. It seems that no one has claimed the seat next to me, if you're interested. Oh my god, two options, but which will you choose? Should we just go for it, or should we play hard to get? I kind of want to go for it because I want to see what happens. But that is so true to like me. I, I never play hard. <laughs> Let's sit by the Colonel. I think we are. Yeah, we've already had a, an, an, a romantic encounter with him. Yeah. Okay, sit next to him. Let's go for it. You move to take your seat by Colonel Sanders. It appears he brought no books, pens, or pencils. However, his perfect upright posture shows off a seriousness that makes you confident in his desire to learn. Thanks for offering me this seat. I only have two rules. Do all you can and do it the best you can. It's the only way you ever get that feeling of accomplishing something. That's so inspiring. A little off topic if you ask me, but okay. As soon as you settle into your seat, the professor makes an announcement. Think fast, it's time for a pop quiz. <gasps> Yay, a quiz about me. This is incredibly important and surprisingly short quiz will tell me if you're ready to uh, for life at culinary school. Keep your knives sharp and your focus sharper. Here comes question one. If train A is traveling to point B and train 
B is traveling to point A, how important is it to wash your hands before cooking? Extremely looking at you, pop. That's right. Forest is to tree as chicken is to feather. That's so right. We are so smart. What is the most efficient eating utensil ever created? Okay, we're going to say a spork because they already said spork. That's right. What food is best? Oh my God, do they only serve sporks at fucking KFC? Is that why they're saying spork? Oh my God, so silly. What food is best for a broken heart? Anything as long as it's prepared with love and not too much salt, like camel meat, a pancake that looks like a silly face. I mean, I feel like all of these could be fine, but we'll say this one. Is Sprinkles a good boy? <gasps> oh my gosh, he's a talking dog that teaches at culinary school. Oh, he's the best boy. It's so true. It's so true. Your total score is five out of five. Wow, be honest. Did you cheat? You look up to see Colonel Sanders has been watching you tally your score. He's impressed. I know we just meant, but I have to confess. I think you have a beautiful brain. Hot diggity, Marissa. You just scored some major Colonel Sanders points with that performance. May I have your attention, students? I have an important announcement to make. Time for lunch! Wow, the cafeteria is as nice as any restaurant you've ever eaten at. It makes sense that a school dedicated to cooking would also be serious about eating. A delicious fragrance wafts through the room and tickles the end of your nose. Your mouth waters. Do you smell that? That must be our lunch. It smells crazy good. Everyone, can I have your attention? Is it about lunch? No, I just wanted to apologize for my dirtiness. You see, I was... Howdy, folks. I'd like to make an announcement. Hey, I was... It's about lunch. Everyone cheers. But I... Shh. Lunch, lunch, lunch. She said shh. In honor of the new semester, I have prepared something special to share with everyone for lunch. Uh -huh. That must be the smell I smelled. Indeed, that smell. You hold your breath, waiting to see what food this mysterious student has created. You heard that he's very talented, but... Were the rumors true? Is this? <gasps> Colonel Sanders, Sanders lifts a large bucket above his head. It contents glimmer in the light. Piled high are huge pieces of chicken, breaded and fried to a crispy golden finish. The aroma envelops you, and you begin to feel warm and safe. Colonel Sanders has filled a bucket with chicken. What a novel concept. Your stomach begins to grumble as if to say, stop thinking and start eating. For years, I've been developing a secret recipe for the perfect fried chicken. But my calculation, nothing less than 11 herbs and spices are required to achieve the perfect balance of flavors. You look around and you notice that every other student has a pen and paper and is scribbling notes as fast as they can. But that's all I'll say about that. What, you think we want your stupid recipe, dude? Pasha! Nah, my dude, nah. I'm just uh, drafting a last will and testament in case um, one of those ingredients is um, poison. Got him! He looks around nervously to see if anyone else is laughing at his sick burn. You wait to see what Zinger Ajale has prepared to follow up, but she suddenly takes a different approach. Yeah, and I was just like writing in my diary. Dear diary, today I smelled something so beautiful. I knew that moment that only the hands of a true gentleman could fry chicken so tender. 
you see her body language change from bitter and evil to sweet and innocent as she slides closer to Colonel Sanders. She realizes that he is destined for greatness and f fame with cooking skills like this. She wants him all to herself. Oh, please. Well, Van Van, the man man, if you don't want any, I'll take his. Whoa, hold on. I mean, I guess I'll try it. He takes one bite and his eyes grow wide. He starts contorting his face as he tries to hold in his pure exhilaration and act unimpressed. Easy now. There's enough for everyone. Please, my fellow classmates, dig in. You take one of the pieces of fried chicken out of this bucket and sink your teeth into it. It's amazing. Tasting Colonel Sanders' food transports you to another dimension. Alone with your taste buds gripping a drumstick in your hand, you float weightlessly. Focus your mind and meditate on this moment. Try to identify every flavor. Savor the moment and everything that it tells you about Colonel Sanders' culinary heart. Swim into the light. Ooh, should we orgasm or should we think about Colonel Sanders? I feel icky listening to this. No, 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 no. It's so fun, Zach. Welcome back. But this is so fun. <laughs> Seriously, it's this or I read a smut chapter out of, out of a dragon and witch book. Hi, Raul. It's me. I'm back. I'm here. Hi, caveman. Good morning. I'm doing good. We are almost at 20 hours. We are 20 minutes out from being 20 hours deep. How crazy to say that. I have smut books. I have not started Kingdom Hearts. That is going to be a separate stream, different time, full playthrough. Like it might even be the next game that I start um, just because I have, I have to do it. Might as well get it out of the way. You are nuts. I know. Oh, God. <laughs> Wait, I accept. What do you accept? Do you want me to read a, a smut chapter? <laughs> it is one of my uh, my my surprise redemptions. When we when we got to sixty nine subs, I was supposed to read a smut chapter, but we never got around to it. So I can read it closer to the end of stream. Raul, I am doing good. This this game is so silly, and I am really enjoying doing a little bit of voice acting for it. <laughs> fun yeah I don't know when I'll start it um I'm trying to think if we have anything else that I needed to do any other games I don't think so because really we unlocked a modded Skyrim playthrough and then we unlocked the first time playthrough of Kingdom Hearts so I'll probably play through all of the Kingdom Hearts I might start it on Friday I'm not going to stream on Wednesday but I'll be back on Friday so maybe we'll start it on on Friday this week and then just dive into it. Okay. I think save the moment and everything it tells you about Colonel Sanders' culinary heart to swim towards the light. I'm, I'm, I think I want to do this one. The flavors in your mouth are beautiful, pure, heavenly. You're going to annoy Noida players. Well, I'm glad you stopped back in. But, you know, sometimes, sometimes the finger looking good uh, fried chicken man isn't for everyone. And I understand that. <gasps> Ooh, how fun, caveman. You bought the stuff to build the modded Game Boy Advance. That's so sick. When is it supposed to come in? What a guy. Alone with the flavors, you feel something that can only be described as love. For a man, for a flavor, are they the same? After tasting his food, you try to get some one-on-one -on -one time with Colonel Sanders. You approach Colonel Sanders. He smiles ever so softly as you approach. He stops what he's doing and allows you to break the silence. Colonel, I wondered if I could talk to you for a second. Anything for a fellow chef. What exactly was on that chicken? Ha ha ha, how bold to come out and ask. 
It's an idea I've had for a new combination of flavors that will make me my fortune and establish my legacy for all time as I open a chain of highly successful fried chicken restaurants. No big deal. I just want... It, uh, it's just you and me talking. I can keep a secret. In fact, I've got some of my own that I'd be willing to trade. What's the rush? The semester is only getting started. We've got two more whole days to get to know each other. He's clearly not going to give it up easily, but it doesn't hurt to be persistent. You know what they say about secrets, Colonel. Shouldn't learning be fun? You've got moxie, I'll give you that. Colonel Sanders looks both ways to make sure you're truly alone and then leans in. You can feel his warm breath as he whispers. Just one ingredient, but you can't tell. I use, oh shit, oh fuck, I clicked on it, I thought I could undo it. Wow, I you'd never have guessed that. In fact, you're not even sure where you'd get some if you searched. While you're wrapped up in that huge revelation, you know that notice that Colonel Sanders has disappeared. While everyone else is still in the cafeteria, you, you decide to look for him. You find Colonel Sanders outside, standing in the quad. Oh, it's you again. Howdy. Sometimes I like to come outside and look at the school buildings. I think about how my story will continue on after I graduated. Sounds like you have big plans. I dare say, the biggest. I'll, I will leave my mark on this world. You can bet on that. Bet on it, bet on it, bet on it, bet on it. Alone together for the first time, you figure now is the perfect moment to show your personality to him. Neg him to show your own strength. Wow him with a big idea to add an additional gradient to spice things up. Be modest but thoughtful. Hmm. Um. Hmm. Spice things up? Should we spice things up? Or should we be like. Should we be like quiet girl? Should we be like. Mm. Hmm. 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 Let's try to be spicy. Yeah, I'm saying let's try to be spicy. Foxy! Hi! Uh, oh my goodness, thank you so much! Thank you, thank you, thank you! How are you? You know about that. I was thinking about your secret recipe. I don't doubt it. It's got a way of leaving an impression on all who taste it. You decide to show them that you also know a thing or two about blowing minds with new flavors. I actually had some thoughts on how you could improve it. Improve it? You want to change my secret recipe? And you think you can do better? Have you ever heard of habanero peppers? <laughs> ever heard of them? <laughs> Chef? You've been better, but it's okay. How am I? I am really good. I hope that things get better for you. I hope that you feel as amazing as you are, as you deserve to feel. You know, it's it's turning into spring, so maybe with the change of season, you can feel a little less uh, clouded, perhaps. You can feel a little bit more warm. You can feel a little bit more sunshine. I'm good though. I am very tired. I am very tired. We have been streaming for 19 hours and 47 minutes. I'm tired. <laughs> um, heard of them? I tend an entire garden of chili pepper varieties. Habanero, poblano, cayenne. But that's not the point. You can't just toss new ingredients into my secret recipe and expect to improve it. A recipe is about balance. <laughs> It's about balance. <laughs> That's me trying to be Thanos. Oh no, you've angered him. We like an angered man. It's been beautiful these last few days. You've enjoyed every second. I love to hear that. It's finally warming up where I am. I mean, I live in the desert, but it's finally warming up and it's so nice. So nice. Oh. 
Are you, um, you're still in school, right? I thought maybe you're graduating this, this year? This, um, winter? This December, yes! I'm so glad that I have it, like, in the back of my head. So exciting. So exciting. Your last hurrah. Your last full year. The recipe is all about balance. It involves careful consideration and refinement. Oh my goodness. Happy early birthday, Foxy. Hey, that's not too bad. We're only five years apart. I don't think that's... It's fine. I'm already old. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> I didn't mean to. Oh my gosh. <gasps> oh my gosh. He hated it. Oh my gosh. Nicole, he actually hated it. Let's let this be the last time you improvise my, Mar my Marissa's recipe. <laughs> I'm headed back to class for the next lesson. That certainly didn't go as planned. You'd better head back inside, but you wait a moment so that Colonel Sanders doesn't think you're desperately chasing after him. You step inside the massive cooking arena where the afternoon lessons will take place. Each student gets an oven and all the tools and ingredients they could need. I bet you we make the habanero spicy chicken and then he eats it and he says, wow, actually... I'm sorry, I was such a dick to you. You're the sweetest bean I've ever had. Let me put this chicken right in your mouth. That's what he's gonna say, that's my goal. Let's make the spicy chicken and show it to him. Look at this place, it's magnificent. Finally, we get to show our stuff. Wait a second, oh no, we have to show our stuff. What if I totally blow it? You're not gonna blow anything. Except for maybe kisses to the crowds of fans you're going to earn with your signature adorable tiny food creations. Welcome students to the cooking arena. For today's lesson, we'll be cooking with partners. Hurry up and pair off. Naturally, Miriam looks over at you, but unable to control yourself, you pounce on Colonel Sanders. I am also really into it. I think it's my voice acting. Okay, I'm getting really into these characters. Oh my gosh, I'm so embarrassing. I'm really embarrassed for myself. It is like an N and A. A nine. A nine. It is like an A nine. Hey, Colonel, would you like to tackle this lesson as a team? A team of two that is me and you, if that wasn't clear. Wanna be my partner? Sure, Marissa, I'll prepare our station. Without you as a partner, Miriam is left standing all alone. Two different students quickly take notice. Hello, new partner. People. Oh my, two potential partners. I'm so sorry, gentlemen, but I don't know who to choose. It looks like you'll have to pick for her. Friend duties can be a little awkward, but that's the price you pay for not being alone forever. Who do you want to ask to be Miriam's partner? Let's get her with the fucking, let's get her with the oven. Sorry, Pop, but I think Miriam will be partnering with Clank today. Oh, yes. Also, if you didn't see the pin message, thank you, Foxy, for, for joining the giveaway. If you do exclamation point giveaway, you will be entered to win a free uh, merch, a new merch. We're launching new merch. This is going to be before it's for sale. Very, very early access. They're very cute designs. Um, we're pulling the winners in 10, 11, 12, and three hours. No, 10, 11, 12, one, yeah, three hours, in three hours. And since we hit our goal up there of 150 subs, we are gonna pull two people. You don't have to be there. Just make sure that I can contact you or your whispers are available on Twitch so I can contact you to let you know if you win. But you don't have to be there. But we'll do it an hour before I end the stream. It's okay, I already ate. It's not entirely clear if Pop has any idea what the point of school even is at this juncture. Clank is clearly excited to have some attention. He heats up and begins to roll back and forth. Warp, warp, warp. Hold on there, fella. We don't even know the assignment yet. 
Technically, Clank might not have a face, but there's something charming and earnest about him. <laughs> Tissue, I hardly know you. <laughs> Clank judders and a panel shakes loose. You get the impression this is a sign of affection. Looks like the two of you will be fine. Now it's time to focus on your own cooking classwork. All right, you two, for today's lesson, we're gonna keep it simple. Pick a basic dish and divide up the steps. No chef is an island. It takes two flints to make a fire. You get the idea. Which dish do you suggest for your partner, Colonel Sanders? Steak tartare seems easy enough. It's fancy, you don't even need to cook it. Using octopus will blow Colonel Sanders' mind. Your grandmother's mashed potatoes and gravy. Oh God. Octopus, grandmother's mashed potatoes. Should we try to pull back and be like a little more personable? And, oh, you know what? You know what? This is, okay, this is a test. This is a test because we're supposed to stick with KFC recipes. This is what they're trying to make us do. We have to do your grandmother's mashed potatoes and gravies. He's gonna eat this shit up. You just watch, you just watch. I've, oh God, he loved it. He loved it. Oh my God, he loved it. We're, we're thinking about this the wrong way. Okay, I'm in it. I'm in it to win it. I've always been something of a down-home chef. I was thinking we could make something warm, inviting, comforting, maybe mashed potatoes and gravy. I couldn't imagine one without the other. Colonel St Sanders casts a coy look at you, causing your whole face to go beet red. Embarrassed, you quickly turn away. I'll go get the potatoes. No, please, let me. Picking perfect produce is the passion of mine. Picking perfect produce, passion of mine. The Colonel's recipe, exactly we need to do. We need to do KFC-oriented dishes. Looks like things are getting pretty fresh around here. Does someone have a crush on Colonel Sanders? We're just cooking partners, mind your own business. Sanders' heart is my business, and you better keep your fingers off my man. Did someone call for me? Ah! <laughs> Ugh, no, jeez, Van Van. While I'm over here crushing Morris's dreams, you're supposed to be taking care of our classwork. That was the deal, remember? Why is this so... What is this music? Oh my goodness, Phoenix, welcome back. Caffeinated, a caffeinated queen. Oh my goodness, I'm so thirsty. Colonel Sanders returns, arm folds, arms full of peeled potatoes. He tosses them into the boiling water and turns his attention to you and your old friends. Oh, howdy dare there, Ashley Van Van. Are we working in a quartet instead of a duet now? Actually, no. It looked like Marissa was struggling, so we offered to give them a hand. You know how it is. These young amateur chefs need a lot of mentoring. I was gonna say, Colonel Sanders, maybe I could also teach you a thing or two about fancy food. Maybe one day you'll you might be able to get up to my level. Huh, <laughs> doubt it. Don't be rude, Van Van. Personally, I have no doubts whatsoever about Colonel Sanders' ability to concoct creations worthy of admiration. After all, your fried chicken was quite spectacular. This music is really over the top for me. <laughs> like, it is, it is 10 o'clock in the morning. Oh my God, it's restarting. But Colonel, if you ask me, I might make a better partner for you than this thing that has positioned itself at your station. Don't you feel deep down that we cast complimentary shadows? We fit together like a thigh and a drumstick. It just makes sense. Nothing about this makes sense, but one thing is clear. She's coming for Colonel if you don't watch out. Ashley is really going at you hard. You need to ask for some backup here before things get ugly. Hunk of hunks in your time of need. Oh God, oh God. Should we should we see Colonel Sanders or Miriam? Oh God, I think we go for, should we go for him? 
We, let's just go for him. I'm here to learn and express myself via my cuisine, not bicker with prima donnas. Partners were chosen at the beginning of the class, so let's all respect the format, okay? You turn to Colonel Sanders to confirm that you're on the same pa page. I chose Colonel Sanders, and Colonel Sanders chose me. Isn't that right? A businessman respects all fair agreements from contracts to handshakes. I took on Marissa as my partner for this activity, and I stand by it. Based on your team's behavior, I'd say you're perfect for each other. Neither of you has Marissa's natural talent or their loyalty. <gasps> by defense... Being defended by Colonel Sanders leaves you feeling proud and full of potential. You look for sprinkles in hopes that he might step in, but he's nowhere to be found. Darn those cute corgis and their short but sturdy stature. You look down at your station and realize that in the tension of the moment, your hands have been cooking on autopilot. Distracted by the drama, you've already crushed the boiled potatoes into perfectly creamy mashed texture with plenty of butter and cream for flavor. It's as if your natural passion guided you through the steps you know so well while your attention was elsewhere. I know what, I know just what to do. Colonel S Sanders extends his hand. He's holding a beautiful white porcelain gravy boat out of which pours a smooth brown gravy, smothering your nearly finished potato dish. That was a really obnoxious song. I'm not gonna lie, that was too much. Gravy flows down the mound of mashed potatoes. The results look spectacular. Granny would be very proud. Colonel Sanders holds a spork out to you. You reach it and grab hold of it, but he doesn't immediately let go. The two of you stand holding the same spork, and for that small moment, all of the madness and pressure in this crazy world stops. I kind of love this too. I am loving this. It really is more like a love story. <laughs> Your eyes lock. The moment is electric. Time stands still. If you love something, set it free. Oh my god, this is literally 365 days. Together, you dig the utensil into the mashed potatoes and lift up a heaping spork full up. When you see Ashley with a sinister look, you know she's plotting against you to be with Colonel Sanders. And then, filled with rage and without thinking, you fling this work full of mashed potatoes right into Ashley's stupid, beautiful face. Fan, Fan, do something! Do something! Scoop up, scooping up a fingerful, Van Van tastes the dripping mashed potatoes and gravy and realizes that it's delicious. Horrified by this revelation, he slinks away. Will he ever be able to cook something with so much love and integrity? Hold on right there, Marissa. We do not waste food in the broom cooking arena. Colonel Sanders, I expected better from you. If you throw one more spoonful, you'd both better be prepared to eat it from wherever it lands. Can I have potatoes, please? Van Van rushes back over covered dish, a covered dish in his hand. Mashed potato with gravies. Pathetic. In just a few minutes, I've prepared a full meal. Gaze upon my specialty. Braised tentacle of octopus in my silky saltwater sauce. Plated on a battle axe. Blade forged from my supreme chef ancestors. <laughs> you, you've ignored me for too long. That ends it now. It is I who will have first bite. And you will all look on with envy. The interrupting student rushes at Van Van and swipes a bite of his signature dish right off the plate. No, don't! Something about the dish doesn't strike my nose is quite right. I think the octop octopus was rushed and may have turned in the process. The results could be toxic. Too late, it's been eaten. I, uh, I think I left something in the oven. I don't feel so good. Everyone! 
one step back. Don't take another bite. When you look back at the plate, the rest of it's gone. You notice the tip of the tentacle being slurped up into Pop's mouth. I am spitting. Pop winces in pain just for a moment and then is immediately almost back to his uh, oblivious self. Oopsie. Tastes like poison. The entire class has gathered to watch Pop's final moments. Shock has frozen the whole crowd. They are as motionless as statues. <gasps> the class bell rings, disrupting the moment and snapping everyone back to reality. Snap back to reality. Oh, <laughs> there's a fucking ghost in the room. It would appear that Pop's enthusiasm for trying new things, despite obvious danger, has inoc inoculated him against poisons. Of all kinds. I'm not sure the professors here make enough money. Um, hello? I just turned into a ghost over here. <laughs> Seeing that you're shaken up by that really annoying student and all of his nonsense, Colonel Sanders approaches you. I'm sorry you had to go through that. Please, let me walk you home. Oh, wait, hold on. He's talking to the student? What? Like, for real? Oh, come on. You follow Colonel Sanders out of the room. At night, the school building has taken on another vibe entirely. It's dark and more than a little spooky. Colonel Sanders stands in the quad's neon glow and speaks softly. Those mashed potatoes you made in class today... Before you go on, I want you to know, they're not a great representation of my skills. I didn't even realize I was making them. They were amazing. Tasting them reminded me why I became so passionate about food to begin with. Colonel Sanders is getting choked up. Cooking is obviously important to him in a way that you find inspiring. Now might be the perfect time to tell him you're developing feelings for him. Uh, Colonel Sanders? I yes, Marissa? Uh, there's something I need to tell you. <gasps> Hold it right there. There's something I need to tell you first. Oh, jeez. You see, when I was just a boy, I had a dream that one day I would be the greatest chef the world has ever seen. And every day since, I have been working towards that dream, day and night, never stopping, never resting, also lifting a lot of weeds, like so many weeds. We should follow our dreams with all of our hearts, that our souls may grant them like wishes floating on a shooting star. Hey, no, I, you, shut up, I'm the one here to say inspirational stuff and be the star of the story. Are we forgetting that your cooking literally killed a guy? <laughs> He's a murderer. You can't prove that. <laughs> I also saw you kill that guy. What was his name? Somewhere in the distance, you hear a long, sad sigh. Forget him. We're talking about me. Me, 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 me. I'm the hero. <gasps> the spork monster is here to fight a hero. I, uh, I think I left the fridge door open. Later, nerds. How dare you threaten me when I was just letting down my guard and connecting with another chef on an emotional level. Be afraid. Be very afraid of me because I am a monster. See? He's rhyming on purpose, or is that just a coincidence? Coincidence. But before you can discuss syntax any further, it's a turn-based fight sequence. What will you do? Attack. Fuck it, let's attack him. We try. We decide to go down and attack. Which attack will you cook with love? Cook with love does one damage. It just got real. The attack really upset Spork Monster. Spork Monster goes on the attack. They spit hot gravy at you. You take one damage. Um, what should we do? Should we defend? Let's defend. You decided to defend. Which defense will you use? Trepidation. You continue to stay back and endure whatever comes your way. Seems like a pretty weird strategy, but okay, sure. You do you. <laughs> 
Oh my gosh, Spork Monster focuses their mashed mind and draws an energy from Mother Earth, Earth itself. It grows larger and more intimidating. How will you res respond? Attack. Go on the attack. Which attack will you use? Cook with love. One damage. Buffed up and ready to rumble. They go on the attack once again. <gasps> Utilitensil, you take two damage from the attack. If you take much more damage, you're not going to survive the battle. Oh my gosh. Well, where is Colonel Sanders? Should we defend? Maybe we should defend. Buff up. Let's buff up. Yeah, no one can control this much buffness. You start to feel bloated and quite frankly, a little gassy. You'd better attack soon or you're likely to explode. You decide to go on the attack. Let's chow down. Chow down does two damage. A powerful blow. Spork monster is oozing chi sauce onto the lawn of the quad. I wonder who is going to have to clean that up. Feeling vulnerable, Spork monster prepares for its ultimate attack. Rounded edge. Vile villain, your reign of terror stops here. Colonel Sanders summons the energy of a thousand chickens. Pot pie power pinch. Pot Pie Power Pinch does 10 damage. Spork Monster is defeated. You saved me. I also feel like drugs, literally voicing all of this. Oh my God, you're eating chipli chiplin chicken dumpling soup. <laughs> and a Pot Pie Power Pinch. Yes, we're Pot Pie Power Pinching this guy. Um, that sounds delicious. I am actually very hungry. I think my husband's laying down. An injured spork monster spews steam into the night. Spare this, oh God, oh my God, should we kill him? I think we should spare him, right? We, I, should we be sweet? I do need food, yeah. I'm pretty hungry. You managed to tamp down your disgust at the sight of this gnarly beast long enough to realize that he's still a living creature with a pure soul who deserves your pity, not your wrath. Oh my gosh, yes, I would love, um, I would love chicken nuggies, I think. I think that would be delicious, especially playing Colonel Sanders. Be gone, beast, and don't you dare come back for a follow-up encounter tomorrow. I won't forget this, and I certainly won't be back like you said. The spork monster scuttles off into the night. The defeated monster left behind a special item. It appears to be a cookbook, but on closer inspection, it's so much more. So last night we made a cake. Oh my gosh, we should bring the cake in here and show it off, you guys. Um, we made a cake last night. We made a Shrek cake. And while I did that in the kitchen, we did a like cook cook dinner stream um nathan and i cooked food and we we made chicken and rice and a um brussels sprouts and it was really good the cake came out so good like i didn't eat it yet but i i made a shrek cake and it came out really well so we ate that last night for dinner and then i had a snack i had a snack around maybe 11 10 or 11 and then I had another snack at around 2 a.m. and then I rested and then I had like a protein shake smoothie for um for breakfast but that was geez that was probably three or four hours ago <gasps> Ooh, yum yum Raul we used to have that a lot but I think I think eggs really fucked me up in the morning Oh my gosh, we got a spell book right now. Also, thank you, Phoenix. Thank you. I, I did a lot better than I thought I would have, to be honest. I'm very proud of it. Okay, it's a book of magic spells with a golden chicken on the cover. Ooh, uh, some beans. I made some beans yesterday because I had I had some like nachos before I went live. It was good. You made a brown butter sage tortellini. Oh, I don't even know what that would taste like, but brown butter sounds so good. Yum. Oh, I need a pee. 
I might just, I might just go, I might just go to the Wiz. It's weird though. Yeah, no, never mind. Okay, I'll be right back. I need to get up anyway. Go piss, girl! Oh my god, you guys feel so good to stand up. Crick. Okay, be right back. Chicken nuggets are in the oven. Hello. I'm back. You heard my back pop, really? Ugh. I have a fucked up back, actually. I do. I, I have scoliosis and I had surgery. 10, 10 years ago. See, so yeah, I, I got a really fucked up back. So it's always, a, it's always like a really big relief when I can pop it. Okay, he's gonna grab me an apple, some apple slices. We're gonna snack a little bit, and then we'll eat the chicken nuggies. I have the best husband ever. I know he's so he's so tired. He tired. We're both tired. I don't know if you can hear my stomach literally growling. <gasps> Matt, hi. Good morning. <gasps> Whoa, whoa, whoa. My wife says she has the best husband ever. Are we married to the same guy? Oh, is that her husband in there? <laughs> it's like number one dad. Number one dad in the world. How are you today, Matt? I hope your day is going well. We, we just passed 20 hours. 20 hours and 17 minutes. Four more hours, four more hours, four more hours, four more hours. Hi, Claire. What you doing, baby? My dog's chilling in here. Sorry, I'm just getting distracted. Oh. We're playing Colonel Sanders dating sim. I love you, Colonel Sanders. I love you. You open the cover and find a library card tucked, it tucked inside. 
Can't redeem channel points or use your emotes because this app is the worst. Dude, that is so crazy. That is so crazy. Thank you, baby. I love you so much. I love you. 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 These words are my own from my heart song. I love you. I love you. No worries at all, Matt. I appreciate you stopping in at all. I totally get it. Things things get busy. Life happens. But yeah, we're here. We're having a really good time with this silly little Colonel Sanders dating sim. <laughs> I think it's really fun. Oh my gosh. Hi, Chloe. Welcome back. Life uh, finds a way. Oh my god, Raul, that is so terrible. I, have you tried like uninstalling the app and then reinstalling it? I wonder because like I have issues with, with it, but it's never that bad. Chloe, I'm feeling pretty good. I did rest for about an hour and a half from like 4 a.m. to about 6.30. No, it was like, well, whatever the math is there. I slept for an hour and a half. And then I went upstairs and got ready and took off my makeup and shit. Um, but I'm all together, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm feeling really good. As good as I can, 20 hours into streaming. <laughs> as good as I can. <laughs> That's crazy. On your iPad, it's fine, but your phone is saying a fuck year. So crazy. How are you doing today, Chloe? I'm so happy to hear from you. I hope you're having a nice morning. But yeah, this is the um, Colonel Sanders, the KFC dating sim where you, you try to fall in love with Colonel Sanders and you're at like an academy and you're trying to woo him essentially. Oh my goodness, Farva, have a good rest of your work shift your work day thank you so much thank you thank you thank you i appreciate you yeah not too long we're in the the home stretch is that what they call it i don't know four hours and in three hours we'll we'll pull the winners for the merch <laughs> you're doing good you've been resting you've had a headache but other than that you can't complain resting sounds so nice that is my agenda tomorrow a, a full rest day a do absolutely nothing day so excited for that Hmm. Oh my gosh. When when Mario Lopez played Colonel Sanders in a lifetime movie. It might have been. I think you I think yes. You're probably onto something there. <clears throat> Sometimes you really need a rotting day, yeah. Also, yes, if you haven't done it, exclamation point giveaway to enter the merch giveaway. That'll be in uh I think less than three hours. Two hours and 40 minutes. And if you get that uh, response from Stream Elements, it means you're good to go. That you already did it. Hi, Raymond. Thank you, Chloe. I hope your headache goes away. I get some pretty bad headaches from time to time, but sometimes it's so nice to like sit with like ice. My husband has like this face thing that we put in the freezer and you can just put it on your face and like strap it around your head. Oh my God, it helps so much. It's so nice. Or like a nice, like cold, wet cloth. Mm, so good. So good. It helps so much. Oh. You used it last night. Look at you. Yeah, it's amazing. It's so nice. Other times I will put a heating pack pad um, under my like neck on the back of my head 
because my muscles get really, really tense on my shoulders, basically from my, um, my surgery from a long time ago. So I try to like warm them up a little bit. Other than that, I take painkillers. <laughs> I like, I literally live off of extra strength Tylenol. Most days, but not all the time. Aw, so sweet. Yes, caveman, thank you so much for the gifted subs. I swear I'm not addicted. <laughs> it's like scary to me though some days. Like I'll be in like really a lot of pain like for a couple days straight and I'm like, do I have to like, do I have to keep taking medicine every day? But like, I don't know. Then it goes away, you know? Mmm. That makes sense. That makes sense. I just got on anxiety medication and in fact that just reminded me that I never took my anxiety meds for last night. Because I technically like didn't go to sleep. <laughs> so I forgot. Um, since I take my anxiety meds, I think I can only take acetaminophen, acetaminophen, I can't take I ibuprofen because it like nullifies the effects of the um, anxiety meds slash antidepressant. I shall not, I promise, on my honor, I won't forget. And I'm, I'm surprised I'm feeling really good today. But I have been feeling really good overall. I think it's really helping. And I'm really glad I'm not feeling um, too much of any like side effects regarding it. Yeah, you should, you should, Chloe. Cause I think um, ibuprofen, I don't know, like, like mutes some kind of like neurotransmitter sometimes that can block some of your meds like intended effects i guess sorry that was the middle of the apple i'm not gonna eat the middle of the apple Yeah, Matt, same same with me. At least it's, I mean, my doctor didn't tell me, but I Googled it because I was like, I was really nervous because when, when I first got on my meds, um, a, a big side effect I was having was I had headaches like every single day. And I was like, what do I do? Like this sucks. And so I had to Google it because I was like, I was really nervous to like just mix anything. Like I know it's just over the counter, like painkiller stuff, but like, I don't know, sometimes things affect your body differently. Like I literally, when I was in Japan, I, I didn't know this, I'm so silly because I don't, I don't really drink a lot, but I must have taken ibuprofen before we went out. And then we took shots of tequila and had a margarita in Japan just for fun because we were right next to like this Mexican bar that we thought was so funny. And I got so fucked up. Like I was spinning. I was I was the only person like absolutely demolished. I was like, did I was seriously, I was scared for myself. I was like, what did they put in my drink? Like, did I just get like drugged? Like, are you guys feeling like this? And I threw up the entire night. Because, you know, you can't mix ibuprofen and alcohol. But I didn't know that. So <laughs> I'm just I get kind of nervous about that kind of stuff now. Oh my gosh, well, I hope not. I hope not, Chloe. <laughs> it could definitely be case by case. I definitely, I searched for my specific um, anxiety meds. So that's just what people, that's what people on Reddit said. So I said, I'll do it. <laughs> But yeah, I do. I do take a lot of Tylenol for like my general pain. I had um, like oxycodone prescribed to me after my surgery, 
but I, it was just a little too crazy for me, so I got off of it as soon as I could. I don't like to take like really hard stuff like that, and so I seriously just would take two extra strength Tylenols every like three or four hours after a fucking spinal surgery. It was hell. It was awful. It was awful. Okay. Let's get back into it. We'll get back into it. <clears throat> okay, so we found a library card stuck inside. The, the chicken cookbook. The last name to have signed it is it out is Borco. Hmm. Borco. That name sounds strangely familiar. Your blood is pumping as you stand in the quiet of the night, holding the mysterious book in your hands. As you come down from your battle buzz, you realize that your final attack has left you completely depleted. The world around you begins to fade away. Without any energy to keep your eyes open, darkness overtakes you. <gasps> the image of Colonel Sanders flashes before your eyes as you fall asleep. He must have helped you get home. In your tired state, you don't know if you could have made it without him. What a guy. You want to thank him, but you don't have the strength to utter a single word. You feel your cover being pulled up over you as if you're tucked in tightly. Let's just snuggle on in right now. Good night, my colonel. In your dream, you are together with Colonel Sanders. For some reason, Sprinkles is also there instructing your love. Dreams are weird. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> you awake on day two and attempt to process the wild visions you had. Were they memories or premonitions? And then there was the secret ingredient that Colonel Sanders went ahead and told you outright. Not much of a secret, huh? It's probably just because he already trusts you so much. Sure, that makes sense. We'll go with that. You meet up with your bestie in front of the school. Before you can tell her about the encounter with the spork monster, she launches into a story of her own. Okay, I know this might sound a little strange, but I think I might be, um, I think I might like Clank. Like him? Like, like, like? I know it sounds like, like it's moving too fast, but there's something about him. I like him, like, like him. We got to talking after class and he's actually a totally sweet guy. Not only that, but he's really smart. He told me all kinds of stories about Colonel Sanders. She's in love, I'm just gonna say this, she is in love with a refrigerator stove guy. <gasps> oh my God, Loopy! Sorry, not sorry. Sorry, not sorry. This is a good one. And thank you, thank you, Loopy. <laughs> Appreciate it. We're old. We're old today. Did you know that Colonel Sanders was the most popular kid in high school? No, but that does make complete sense. Yeah, but he was so popular that he was voted prom king at a school he didn't even go to and was also the convertible that he, that he himself rode in at the front, he, and was also the convertible? He was a convertible? I'm sorry, he was a car? Okay, uh-huh. I'm, okay, there we go, there we go. This, okay, there we go. This, okay. I'm thinking maybe something got lost in pressure cooker language translation there. <laughs> Either way, it, maybe it'd be best if you took it slow with this new boy. 
like I am with Colonel Sanders. <gasps> you and Colonel Sanders, the coolest guy in school, the most famous student to ever attend the University of Cooking School, semicolon, Academy for Learning? You're a thing now? We definitely connected yesterday. Dude, honestly, get you a man that can do both. Turn into a car, turn back into a human, fucking cook some chicken, make a business, entrepreneur, come on. Ah ha ha ha, sure you did. You're great, why wouldn't he be into you? I guess, I guess? Laughing at the implication that you and Colonel Sanders might be a thing is definitely not cool. You are great. You have an idea about how to prove to that your love is real. Well, if he's not into me, why did he tell me one of his secret ingredients? <gasps> your bestie's eyes light up. A secret ingredient? Yeah, I just said that, a secret ingredient. Is there a dramatic echo in here? <gasps> Miriam checks to make sure you're alone before continuing. So this summer, while I was on vacation with my family, a lovely man approached me in the botanical garden where I was wandering. This can't be good. Hi, Thad. Welcome back. <laughs> this can't be good. He told me about his passion for spices. Secret spices. The man even gave me some to show what he meant. He said it was a powder created from a super duper rare dried flower petals. Uh, and that if I did him a big favor, I could have some of my own. Please, Miriam, don't tell me. So I filled my suitcase with them and brought them home. He was so nice. He even met me at the gate when I arrived. Later, when I cooked with them, a very strange feeling came over me, and the flavor was unlike anything I ever tasted. I think you're being very liberal with the meaning of spices here. Whatever. Anyhow, we both share an interest in cooking, so we stayed in touch, you know, like pen pals. I bet he would love to know more about new spices. I'm definitely not supposed to share Colonel Sanders' secret recipe, and besides, I only know the one ingredient, so I doubt it'd be much use to anyone. Please, please, please! It would mean- Oh, Jesus! This is- Are you gonna eat this? Oh my god! He just gave me a whole fucking plate of chicken! Like a whole ass, a whole ass plate of chicken. Honestly, it does sound kind of like air, but it's definitely drugs. It would mean the world to me. No one has uh, has to know it came from you or Colonel Sanders. What do you think? Should you protect Colonel Sanders' secret or share it with your bestie? Oh, absolutely make up a fake ass ingredient. You quickly think of a fake ingredient's name. I don't know, how about... It was Eye of Newt. I know it sounds like kind of some kind of witch's potion, but what can you do? Eye of Newt. Wow. Her eyes light up imagining such a thing, and you figure that you've satisfied her curiosity, and she'll move on. However, she immediately turns around and does some thumb typing on her phone that you can't quite see. That's probably not good. Before you can ask her to confirm that she was definitely not texting secrets to other people, you're interrupted. A wind rushes in. Cherry blossom petals fill the air. It's Colonel Sanders. He's arriving at school. Uh, I don't want to look desperate. He's on a horse right now? He also did carry me in from passing out. So I don't know, should we run to him and be like, hey, I'm fine. Yes, be desperate, admire him. Let's see what Nathan says. Should we run up, should we run up to Colonel Sanders or stay and admire him? Run up to him, okay, we're gonna run. <laughs> we're gonna try it, we're gonna try it. You decide that the best way to show Miriam how serious you and Colonel Sanders are would be to run up to him. Surely he'll sweep you up into the back of his stallion and you'll ride away together. That'll show her good. Oh, Colonel, my Colonel. However, your sudden movement surprised the horse and it rears up, kicking you directly in the face. The force of the blow completely knocks you out cold. In the darkness, you see a vision. Oh, Marissa. I'm here to deliver your message. Not this guy. 
It's important that you remember this exactly as I say it. If you forget, the world could end, so you know it's serious. I have been trapped in a realm beyond, and a great prophecy relies on my return. Only you can save me, and all you need to do is repeat my name three times. And that name is... Before he can continue, you suddenly awake. Oh, jeez. You awake to find Colonel Sanders tending to you. He roused you back to life with a satchel of secret spices. Or is that just his natural season musk? <gasps> what the fuck? Are we laying out for a kiss? a little too soon to be kissy wizzy. This is crazy. I kind of want, I want to kiss, but I don't know. I don't know. What did we do? I know, also the first option has nothing to do with. Maybe we should, maybe we should be, we should be kind of like aloof and silly. Because I think like maybe he wouldn't want to kiss. I don't want to embarrass ourselves in front of our friend. Hospital please option. I think I think we'll do option one this time. We have a whole nother day. We can kiss him. Maybe sorry. Sorry everyone. Maybe he shouldn't be riding a horse to school, and maybe you shouldn't be running up to animals you don't know. It's hard to say who was in the wrong here. But one thing is for sure, that Colonel Sanders is pretty dreamy. That horse has beautiful shoes. I could really feel how smooth and sturdy they are when they were pressing into my face. Oh, he liked it. That's nice to hear. No one truly appreciates good craftsmanship anymore. And with that, Colonel Sanders disappears into the school, leaving you and Miriam to follow. When you enter the classroom, you see your two rivals, Ashley and Van Van, are doing something bad. By the way they're hiding, you know it must be really bad. Like counterfeiting recipes bad, experimenting with restricted ingredients bad, summoning a demon bad? You try and get a peek over Van Van's hulking shoulder, but he sees you coming. Whoa there, little one. I'm not sure you're ready to handle this. Why don't you make it like a bee and mind your own wax, honey? Tell them to stop acting immature. Act like you're not interested. Now let's, let's confront them. You immediately dress the rivals down for their immature behavior. Culinary school is to be respected. This kind of nonsense is a waste of everyone's time. Now you've upset them. Oh, you're, and you're the emperor of cooking, are you? You make the rules. I'm not sure you'd know a good meal if it, it ate you. What? Being the best chef in the world takes more than just culinary skills. It takes creativity. It takes penesh, pe pen penesh, how the fuck do you say that word? I, I don't know. Who's a dork, me? Or these people, these people are dorks. Pen ash, pen ash. It doesn't hurt to use a little evil. You finally get a look at what they were hiding and you instantly recognize it. <gasps> it's a book just like the one you found after your encounter with the spork monster. It's the same book I found last night in the quad. Ash Lag immediately elbows Van Van who hides the book behind his back. I don't know what you're talking about. That book is a family heirloom and it's con contents are secret. You notice they haven't been studying the book. They've got Pop pinned to the wall and they're tossing potato skins at him as he tries to catch them in his mouth. We're playing. <laughs> 
Before you can dig any further, you're interrupted by the arrival of more students. It's almost time for class. Beep, beep. Clank must be running late. He's in such a hurry that he rolls right over Van Van's meaty foot. Hey, watch it, you bucket of bolts. <gasps> you watch how you talk to him. He didn't do anything. Bzzz, womp. Who do you think you're talking to? I've never heard such language, not even from a stand mixer. Is that what he is? Womp, womp. <gasps> no, your mother was a stand mixer. <laughs> Van Van jumps to attack Clank, but Clank shocks Van Van, sending him flying across the room. Protect me, Colonel Sander. These crazed men are about to come to blows. I think it must be all uh, over me. Uh, <laughs> but I'm not interested in either of them. Ashley's tone has completely changed in an instant. She bats her eyelashes at Colonel Sanders. Surely he must know that this is a ruse, right? Gentlemen, get a hold of yourselves. Save it for the arena at least. Or don't. Honestly, what do I care? I've got lofty career aspirations to focus on. <gasps> Maybe I can help you with your business plan. Just then, Sprinkles arrives to signal the true start of the class day. He's panting, which doesn't seem that abnormal. He's a professor, but he's also a dog. Students, students, please take your seats. I apologize for my late arrival. I spent the morning chasing a car all around town and my tiny legs are very, very tired. But I'm here now and I hope you're ready to learn. Rub his furry dog belly. He loves it. Sprinkles stops in his traps and sniffs the air around you. Something has him in a trance. It's the scent you uh, left on you from Colonel Sanders. Sprinkles jumps on you and licks your face. <gasps> down, boy, down! Is he saying, is this German? What? That command shouted by Colonel Sanders has snapped Sprinkles out of his trance. I wonder what's up with that. Sorry, I got a little carried away. After he catches his breath, Sprinkles regains control of the classroom. Without further ado, we'll review the global history of my favorite fowl, the chicken. You want to pay attention to the lesson you truly do, which is why in 1776, after the signing of the Declaration of Independence, it was chicken who first signed their name. But you can't help but daydream about Colonel Sanders, and you missed, miss most of the mo- huh? And you miss most of the important parts. When you come to, Sprinkles is holding a tray of food in front of you. Well, Marissa, naturally, this appears to you to be a sample platter. Which item do you want to sample? Um, uh, let's, I say a shimmering pepper. Oh my gosh, Anna, no worries. Lurk all you need. Lurk all you need. We are vibing. This is so silly. I feel like you would enjoy this game. <laughs> Yeah, it's fun. It's a fun one. You had dinner. It was cooked potatoes with some meat. That sounds delicious. I'm having just like oven cooked chicken nuggets right now. But it's also very good. Okay, let's try the shimmering, shimmering pepper. A brightly colored pepper stands out from the other items. It sparkles in a most eye-catching way. So naturally, you reach out, grab it, and eat it right away. However, your body is not prepared for the heat. I just have barbecue sauce, and my husband also gave me, um, like, red hot, like, a buffalo sauce, but there's no ranch, so it's, I'll just eat the barbecue. Oh. The pepper has triggered an intense spice hallucination. Okay, this is a lot like Dune. Okay, I'm just gonna say, this is a lot like Dune. <laughs> it feels like forever, as though you drip through the universe. <laughs> 
yes, sometimes I do like Romy oh, rage. Sometimes I do like I don't deserve you. I like a spicy one sometimes. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Don't look. Don't look. Don't look. I only, I will only eat ranch with spicy stuff. How about just take a look at the buffalo sauce? No gag. No gag here. Yum, 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 yum. Barbecue ranch, huh? I can't believe there is a dead student in this game. Like of all the things I expected, this was not it. Spicy chicken nuggets with barbecue? Mmm. I think there's a lot of dead students in Harry Potter. <laughs> there's all those fucking ghosts. <laughs> this kid ate a undercooked octopus. He ate poisoned food. They just let him eat it. Okay. My friend. Ooh. This guy again. I'm here to give you an important message. I keep changing his voice. Ooh. You must avenge my death and fulfill your destiny. And all you must do is, <clears throat> I was saying to fulfill your destiny, all you must do is, <clears throat> sorry, I think I've just got some more spice stuck in my throat. It's fine, I'll work through. <clears throat> to fulfill <clears throat> the prophecy, <clears throat> you must, you feel yourself to uh, begin to regain consciousness. Thank you, Nori, for the hydrate. Oof. Honestly, might be a spicy food, too. Oh, man. You come to and find everyone is staring at you. That pepper was the last of its kind on Earth, and now it's gone forever. You think to yourself, geez, I should p pay better attention. We all make mistakes. I'm sure he'll forgive you someday. Come on, it's time for lunch. Before anyone can relax, the cafeteria lights dim and your rivals enter to make a dramatic announcement. Today's lunch will be prepared via timed competitive... What the fuck? Competitive... <laughs> Why couldn't I like say that? Should we do it? Let's, let's do it. Let's fuck them up. A bit of lunchtime competition, huh? Count me in. If I have to wipe the tables with you fools before I set my lunch down on it, then so be it. I'm not the fool. You're the fool. Fool? <laughs> ah, he likes it. Good one, Fan Fan. I like your gumption, Marissa. I'll be watching your performance. Just as things reach a boiling point, Sprinkle steps in. Surely he'll put a stop to this madness. Now, now, students, please settle down. This is a lunchroom, not a sporting court. Finally, a little sense. You breathe a sigh of relief. At least, not until we turn on the timer. <gasps> oh my god, timer ready? Jesus Christ. Just then, a huge light blasts you in the face, flashing the words, timer ready. That's what I'm talking about. Ow! I stand corrected. 
The hard way builds solidly a foundation of confidence that cannot be swept away. He's speaking in riddles. He's too handsome to speak in regular sentences. And that is an original quote by me, in case anyone was wondering. I hope its uh, message lift, lifts you to victory. Like a diamond, I was formed under pressure, and now is my chance to shine. I will defeat you myself. You had his chicken, and you made mashed potatoes and gravy on day one, and you're feeling like you can really impress him here again. It's time to boil some water for the potatoes. Think fast. If the timer runs down, you'll be forced to pick randomly. What temperature does water boil at? Jesus Christ, ah. Uh. Oh my God, what, how am I supposed to know? How many herbs and spices did you say you use? This isn't seven. <gasps> what state of mind offers the most flavor? How am I supposed to know these answers? Yep. Oh, shit. Oh, should we try it again? We could try it again. Nice. I want to beat these people. This is fucked up. Okay, hold on. Let's let's try it again. Is it... What do you think? Where, where, where does uh, water boil? Okay. How would you even get to school without knowing that? Okay, okay. <sighs> okay, 11, we got, okay. Um, What do we think, what do we think? I took Vigilant Trust? Wrong, fuck, 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 fuck. Um, Ashley is simply stronger and faster than you. You better pick up the pace if you want to survive. When you were a child, your father told you to never forget where you came from. Every day, you meditate on his device and draw energy from that place. Uh, now would be a great time to harness energy. Where does it come from? A small town, shoulder of Orion, deep beneath the surface. Ow! What's the sound of success? Sizzling? Silence? Sizzling? I believe in you, Marissa. He's actually cheering you on, which would be awesome, except knowing that he's watching you makes you totally forget what you were doing. Now all you can think about is Colonel Sanders! How many spoonfuls of crazy would it fill your shirts? Oh shit, I said, I said, I said Colonel Sanders. What a hawk! Ah! Ah! I know, right? You know what? You shouldn't be, fo shouldn't you be focused on the challenge? You're falling behind. Sorry, I forgot the question. Oh my god, I'm just like... <laughs> Plating elements of her dish is colorful and complex to make up time you, you toss your biscuit dough into a stand mixture as you do the crowd gasp. Mmm, yikes. Zzz. You... I know you love nothing more than seeing a fellow appliance utilized in a kitchen battle, but sometimes that means sacrificing a personal touch. Where You might not have any hands, but Marissa does, and a good chef needs to be touching the dough to know when it's properly mixed. There's an easy way and a hard way. You don't get far by going the easy way. When you hear everyone talking, you realize how serious your error was. You immediately shove your hand in the mixer to rescue your dough before it's over mixed. Marissa, no. But wh what the fuck? Your hand gets stuck. It's immediately crushed by the quickening spinning beaters. There's no way you'll be able to use that hand for the rest of the match. Colonel Shander shakes his head in shame. What you often find is that the easy way can turn out much, much more difficult. Everyone stop what you're doing right now. The battle is over. It can't be. I was so clean, close to finishing my this. Sweetheart, look at your hand. You simply can't go on. Oh, that's too bad. Oh, God. Oh, God. No, I... Oh, no. No. I, I need to win. Oh my gosh, strong, steady You're hand. <gasps> oh my gosh, inside you'll find a delicate cheese cro croquette atop a slice of honeycomb, ice cream two ways, tender nougat, nou nougat and pearls of blueberry jelelele, jelelele. 
Oh my God, this is insane. Dude, I, you literally got <laughs> hit with a horse. And I passed the fuck out the night before. I didn't even get a good night's rest. <laughs> Back train, this is the funniest shit I've ever heard in my life. That's like my favorite thing to say. Oh, you're a fan of this? Name everything. Name every KFC item on the menu. Seriously, where is my... Where is my sympathy here? Let's step between them. What? He recoils and brushes me back? <gasps> I was saving that flavor for later. Okay. We're gonna try again. Oh, Jesus Christ. This is so crazy. Hopefully my hand doesn't fucking fall off this time. Okay, you guys need to help me. <laughs> I can't miss any of them. So it's probably... Okay, I think I have all the answers. Okay. Okay, and then this one is... Gratitude. Okay. And this one is Small Town... Try to shut out the noise of the arena. Um, silence. Okay. <clears throat> I believe in you, Marissa. He's actually cheering you on, which would be awesome, except knowing that he's watching you makes you totally forget what you were doing. Now all you can think about is Colonel Sanders. How many spoonfuls of gravy? Um, blowing you a kiss. Yeah. Oh shit, was there a real answer? Oh God, oh God, is this inevitable that I lose my hand? Okay, I we, we did something. We hear everyone talking, you realize how your error was. Okay, you're not fast enough, your hand gets stuck. What you often do, much more difficult. Okay, stop what you're doing, this battle's over. Can't be so close to finishing my disc, blah, 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 blah. Okay, maybe let's not get in the middle. So we'll just keep our anger. The flames cause your eyebrows to catch fire and turn to ash and they fall off of your face, which means people will have a hard time understanding your emotions for the rest of the semester, perhaps forever. <sighs> Embarrassed and ashamed of your poor performance not to mention your crispy fried brow you run for the quad to be alone the beautiful weather feels like an insult inside of you a storm rages it's colonel sanders he's probably here to tell you that he and ashley are in love and have decided to get married what year was the KFC Double Down originally submitted to the United States Patent and Trademark Office for approval? Don't bother looking at me if you don't even know. That is the school. And and by the way, we're going to fucking kick you in the face with a horse if you get it wrong. Don't fuck up. Oh, God. What a game. KFC School of Hard Nugs. In two hours, we will be drawing the, the winners for the giveaway for the merch. By the way,
and he won't even ask you to cater his wedding because you're a terrible chef and an awful person. This is how my mind like actually, did, did they ask me for my thoughts on this? You try to hide it from him, but he approaches you directly. I know you're hurting right now. Not just from the devastating loss, but from that run-in with the mixer and that small fire. We should get that checked out. I'm fine. Can't you just leave me alone? I'm a loser. I'm not fit to fill your fryer. I'll never be... I'm not fit to fill your fryer. I'll never be a master chef. Failure is a part of life. Not just for you, but for all of us. Do you think I've never failed at anything before? That's exactly what I think. Well, then think again. I wasn't always the man you see before you. Enrolled in culinary school, incredibly handsome, successful, motivated. Well, handsome, sure. I was born that way. But I've walked other paths and arrived at dead ends. I was passionate about life, but I failed as an obstetrician. Obstetric I can't, I'm sorry, I don't know how to say that. Obstetrician. Yep. I was passionate about justice, but I failed as a lawyer. I was passionate about livestock, but even, but I even failed as a mule handler, and one was especially humiliating. Mules can be so cruel. Dinky Amoeba. Hello. Yes, it, it is here. We are playing it. Well, come on in. It is amazing. <clears throat> We're in to day two. There's only day three days. So we're like about halfway through the, the dating sim. So silly. I love it. It's all over the place. I don't know. Do they draw? If they're drawing it in this style, does Ronald look like Hisoka or what? So true. He's only, he's, he's only okay with you failing up to his standards. I lost my business partner to a gunfight. I didn't know. People see my delicate ribbon tie and my well-kept beard and they assume that I've got it all together, which is true now, but it hasn't always been. Sounds like this guy could really use a hug. I resolved then that I was going to amount to something. No amount of hours, labor, or money would deter me from giving the best I had to give. He's no grimace. <laughs> Why is he so fine though? Honestly, same. I, I know. I don't. I don't. He's he's good looking, and this music is kind of great. Mm, what's going on here? As Colonel Sanders changes focus, you could see something ignite inside of him—a burning passion. One has to remember that every failure can be a stepping stone into something better. My new dream is pure. It's honest. It's something that a humble man in a crisp white suit can be proud of. I will create a new chain of chicken restaurants that will bring joy to the entire world and make up for my past misdeeds. Yay! Just as your moment grows intimate, you're interrupted by a threatening, shadowy presence. Battle scarred from the night before, you prepare for the worst. Borco? It is I. I know I said I wouldn't be back, but after the whole fight to the death thing, maybe you really don't want to see me anymore, but I just wanted to say I was wrong to attack you, and I apologize. I know what it's like to having to always look over your shoulder. Monster problems, am I right? Ah, thanks, Borko. I'm glad there's no hard feelings. Getting jumped by a giant creature in the dark of night can really rile up a person. I also want to apologize the way I switch right into attack mode. I know that you're strong and cooking school can put a person under a lot of stress. I actually used to go to this school. I wasn't always a spork monster, you see. I don't believe it. You were human once? Uh, well, no. I was a golden retriever, but I was still a student until one day some mean kids with a magical spell book cast a dark enchantment on me and I was forever transformed. A magical spell book. Precisely. I had procured a copy for myself, but somewhere along the way I've lost it. And if you find uh, such a book, I beg of you, respect it. 
You are a powerful chef, and I shouldn't rely on such dark and evil magic. No, you should be protecting the innocent from those who would cheat them through sorcery and guile. I don't know. They must have been so jealous that that dog was a better chef than them. Humans can be pretty insecure. It's possible. It's probably, it's probably Sanders. It's probably, oh my god, what if it was Sanders? <gasps> oh my god, plot says we end up with a golden retriever. We have a golden retriever boyfriend at the end. Could be. If you need me, don't fear. I will be there. It sounds like there are some bad cooks in the kitchen of life. Marissa, together, I am sure we can defeat them. Come back to my hideaway and we can discuss personal invite. You can't imagine what Colonel Sanders' home must be like, but it sounds like you're about to find out. Stepping inside Sanders' home, surrounded by his things, you start to feel a special bond with him. It looks like you live such an exciting life, Colonel Sanders. Every day can be an adventure if you approach it with the right attitude. Long ago, I made the decision to never stop searching, never stop working, never stop Imagining. Have you been working on any new recipes of your own lately? I'm always excited to talk about food with another ambitious chef. I know, isn't that? That's so creepy. <laughs> well, there is something, but it's just a side dish that I've been tinkering with, trying to find the balance of flavors and textures. I'm not sure I've nailed it yet, but I'm close. Colonel Sanders' eyes perk up as he starts to wonder what dish you might be describing. It's meant to pair with something spicy or something crispy, both perhaps? Now you've got him right where you want him. Should you reveal your new creation to him or keep it a secret just for you? Let's reveal it. Do you think you would betray us? Oh my God. Thank you for the hydrate, babe. You decide that you're as ready as you'll ever be to share your original cooking with Colonel Sanders. Before you can talk yourself out of it, you decide to dive in head first. You reach into your lunch bag for a special dish that you've been keeping on ice all day. I wouldn't mind if he did that. I present to you my original coleslaw. The shredded cabbage just glistens in the light of Colonel Sanders' Lux hideaway. <gasps> Magnificent! Together, you chow down on the creamy slaw until just a spoonful remains in the bowl. Do you mind if I hold on to the last bite? I'd like to have it around so that I can admire its taste later and think back on this moment. You could offer to make him more, but he seems like a very sentimental kind of guy. Sure, why not? Please, make yourself comfortable. I'll be back in just a minute. You realize that now would be the perfect time to do some snooping. Around the room are various items that you can look closer at. Each item seems to radiate memories and emotions. Tap on an item to discover more about the kernel. Must be where he keeps his secret recipe. You think for a moment what number is important to Colonel Sanders, then it draws on you. 11, 11, 11, and it opens. Inside you find a single note. Hmm. Can chicken be prepared sashimi style? Look at, there it is. There it is. <laughs> Hopefully for your body as well. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. <laughs> <laughs> An adorable little baby boy crawls across the floor. From the goatee and the mustache combo he sports, you figured that, that this must be Colonel Sanders himself. That, or maybe the drumstick that he seems to be waving like a rattle. Who frames a baby picture of just themselves? Probably the same type of person who would make their own face the logo of the company they founded. Am I right? Tap on an item. Okay. The photo appears to be Colonel Sanders, except he's an old man visiting the pyramids of Egypt? Maybe this is where he discovered his secret of herbs and spices. <gasps> Tap on an item. Oh my gosh, should we go in the room? Should we look at some more stuff? I want to look at everything. Oh my gosh, silver hair woven through the teeth of the calm. Upon further inspection, you realize that the hair therein isn't just a silvery in color. It's actually made of spun 
silver. Tap on an item to learn more. I want to look at every single thing he does. I want to go in the bedroom, though. I want to go in the bedroom. One of the frame photos showed an old man who looks a bit like Colonel Sanders standing with a friend. They hold fried chicken drumsticks and appear to be cheersing them. That's not what the picture shows at all. They're not cheersing. Um, I wonder who my friend Pete is. Do you think we have time to look at everything? Oh my god, what the fuck? I don't want this ghost of a student. Are you thinking about Are you thinking about heading out in the world on a quest to avenge my death? Wait, what? I never even learned your name. Why would I avenge you? I could just tell you my name right now. It's Can't you see him in the middle of something? You open the window a crack and the student is swept out with a breeze. Oh my god. Okay, I want to go in the room. Should we click on the urn though? I know, we're trying to get some. Do you think this is fried chicken flavored candle? Try to identify the smell. Power tool? Freshly starched collar? Pieces of wool floating in a lake? Summer of 69? It's the summer of 69. Isn't that the song? No, it's one of the secret recipe ingredients. It's blank. Tap on an item to discover. Okay, maybe we have time to do all of this. Okay, it's a plaque on it, it's dusty, but when you wipe it off, you can read the inscription. It says, here lies the ashes of all my past careers and business failures. Poor guy. Let's do the chicken. You notice a very realistic stuffed chicken sitting in a corner table. When you pick it up, you realize it isn't just realistic, it's real. Taxidermy must have been important to Colonel Sanders when it was alive. A little note clipped to the chicken's foot reads, the true state bird of the great state of Kentucky. Um, any Kentucky chowders in here? Is that true? Okay, we're gonna go in the room. <gasps> to find a row of his signature white suits hanging within, you, you take one off the hanger and try it on. The jacket is a big, big for you, but they're soft and comfortable. You give yourself a deep hug, breathing in a scent. They say that home is where the heart is. Is this what they meant? Before you can look any further, you hear Colonel Sanders returning. He has a new dish that he's been working on, and he wants you to taste it. You try to act casual until he asks you why you're wearing his jacket. Hi, Yabby. I don't usually loan those out, but I must say it does look good on you. Oh, crap. The jacket. Um... Oh my gosh, wait, hold on. Now is your moment to take a big move. Let's do big, big move, big move. Big, are we in the, are we, big move? Are we going to take it? We should take it off in our clothes with it, huh? Is that an option? Can we do that, maybe? Why is that not an option? Okay, we'll do big move. <gasps> whoa, 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 this isn't that kind of game. What do you mean? Not that we blame you for trying. Fucking game devs! Is the game devs rejecting me? It's not even Colonel Sanders. It's the fucking game. <gasps> Why would they do that? Why would they do that? But still. <gasps> Why can't we fuck the Colonel? Is my question. That's so stupid. Okay, whatever. We'll just tell them that we're cold. Maybe we should be honest. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? Okay, hold on. Just hold on. It's a spork buster. Okay, whatever. Spork, 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 spork. Wow, this is the whole thing. Okay. Okay, reveal it. We're gonna eat some coleslaw together. Like, the sexual tension is there. I don't know why we can't just kiss. Let's just look at all these things. Okay, go away, go away, go away, go away, go away. Oh. 
Okay. I don't usually loan this out, but they, they look good on you. Okay, so should we tell them that we're cold or should we fess up and tell the truth? Exactly. He would have been the herbs of my spice. He would have been, yeah, crafting some some homemade um, spicy chicken. Breast scissors. Like if we if we're cold, then uh, maybe we should try to tell the truth. Honesty is key, right? Do you think he'll snuggle with us if he? Hmm. Honestly, why make the game at all? Why make the game at all if we can't just go upstairs right now? Why are we at his house? <gasps> if cold, he might turn up the heat and then clothes come off. So true, but they're going to just say that's not that kind of game. The fuckers. Okay, we'll try it. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to intrude. I got a little cold and thought this might warm me up. Oh, he smiles and scoots close to the fireplace. It's warm by the fire. Why don't you come a little closer? Suddenly, everything feels like it's moving too fast. Final exams are tomorrow. You should be thinking about what you're going to cook. I should be home studying. Overwhelmed, you take off the jacket and run for the door. But the thought of leaving the colonel in the midst of such an emotional breakthrough gives you pause. You stop yourself. Colonel. Yes, Marissa? I honestly think this may be the beginning of something wonderful. I think you're right. We should take things slow. You talk late into the night and drift off into a slumber. Dream sequence. What the fuck kind of... What the fuck is that? <sighs> Good call, Loopy. Good call. Oh my gosh, I slept at his place? You awake to a beautiful morning in Colonel Sanders' hideaway. Did you make the right decision on how to respond to Colonel Sanders? Only time will truly tell. Today is the day that can change the rest of your life. You think about the secret new ingredient you just learned about. Blah, 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 blah. In some jurisdictions, blah, 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 isn't even legal. Marijuana. <laughs> but if the recipe is secret, how will they know? Your thoughts are interrupted when Colonel Sanders emerges into the room. He's holding a gorgeously plated breakfast and your mouth waters at the sight of it. Here's a simple breakfast I just whipped up. It's meticulous. Yeah, we can dream but we can't fuck. We have to stay like this and we have to just fantasize about what those arms could do with the strength and the fingers and what goes on under the apron and how his muscles are like you know tearing out of this fucking shirt okay whatever you taste colonel sanders dick food uh, and it takes you on a journey when you return he's waiting to ask you an important question so would you say that we're the perfect match how presumptuous my cuisine and your taste buds that is Such confidence, such grace. Could he be the world's greatest gift to cookery? I don't know what to do. Flatter him, I guess? I want to say yeah. I want to say yeah, we're a perfect match. Let's go upstairs. Aw, he liked it. You know, I think we make a great team. A single tear begins to pool in the corner of his eye as he gazes out the window. And with the right business partner, I know I can't fail. Business partner, could he be talking to you? It's all happening so quickly. Overcome with emotion and confused by your feelings, you're on the verge of tears. Unable to speak, the only answer you can find is to run out the door and get home. There's still one more day of school after all. The University of Cooking School, semicolon, Academy for Learning, waits for no one. Dude, we just got not friend zone, but business partner. That's fucked up, honestly. Seriously, Phoenix, yeah. That's worse, because then you can't even have a relationship without taking it to HR. Ah. Uh. 
Okay, you get home to find something very surprising. Your best friend is waiting for you. Where have you been? I, uh, because I had one heck of a night. I've been so desperate to talk to you about it, but I couldn't find you. I got worried that something bad happened to you. It's okay, I was just, uh, but now it turns out that you're fine, I can finally get you up to speed on the saga of Miriam. Sure, but you will not believe what happened to me after school yesterday. I went on a date. I think I can believe that since I had been partnered up with Clank, he asked me out uh, to go out with him. Of course, I told him, you better keep your dials turned to polite and respectful. I'm not that kind of girl. But he was just interested in spending some one-on-one -on -one time together and getting to know me. So I said, yeah, sure, I can get to know the little metallic guy. Long story short, he took me skydiving with his friends, but things quickly spiraled out of control. <laughs> Did she just say skydiving as if that's a typical first date to go on with a talking pressure cooker? <laughs> and now I'm not really sure where we stand. Did he die? Did he die? You don't give Miriam time to tell her whole story. However, bottling up the details of your own night is just too much to bear. And I went on a date too, back to Colonel Sanders' house where I spent the night with him. <gasps> you what? Nothing happened but the emotional connection. Wowzers. Miriam tells you to move on from this whole Colonel Sanders obsession and focus on school. If being obsessed with Colonel Sanders is wrong, then you don't want to be right. After a short argument, you both agree to go your separate ways. Okay, but did she kill the pressure cooker or not? <laughs> When you arrive at school, you encounter your rivals in the quad. You can tell from a distance that they're picking on Pop, uh, though he himself might not quite grasp the fact because you know he's Pop. What a swirly, it sounds delicious. Oh, it's great, I'll order you one up right away. I'll have my swirly with sprinkles, please. <laughs> sprinkles is a dog and a treat. You can get your swirly dipped too. Why don't you pick on someone your own size? Because I'm literally the biggest person in this school. <laughs> I feel like I sounded like a uh, Zoolander. I'm like literally the biggest guy in the school. <laughs> She's in love with the appliance. It's so crazy. There's that horse that Colonel Sanders rides to school, but who would dare pick on such a gentle and beautiful creature? You've got some nerve, Marissa, suggesting I pick on a defenseless horse. Now you're twisting my words. I won't have it. You clench your fish, but the fist, but the fish, fist, but the injury from yesterday's mixer accident makes you wince in pain. Doesn't look like you can go on cooking like that. Might as well just give up. I'll never give up, ever. Colonel Sanders arrives just as it disappear just as it appears things are close to boiling over. A naturally intuitive person, he senses that something has been going on. Is everyone excited for the final day of school? Marissa, how's that hand feeling? I'm sure you'll be back in fighting form by this afternoon. Oh, for sure. Aren't you concerned about my hands, Colonel? Yesterday I almost broke a nail winning so hard. Technically, I don't believe a winner was decided, but your presentation was quite impressive. What's he doing complimenting her? But what about the flavors of my delicate, warm, gooey chocolate sauce? It was clear that you're passionate about how your food is received. That's a lot of words to say it was bland. Excuse me, Marissa, I am more than capable enough to speak for myself. Maybe you could tell me more of your thoughts as we walk into class, Colonel? I am always interested in discussing the fine arts of food. See you inside, Marissa. Annoyed by Colonel Sanders' inability to see Ashley for who you know she really is, you walk across the quad to get some distance. 
In an attempt to distract yourself from how slighted you feel by that interaction with Ashley, you take out the spell book you recovered yesterday and start flipping through the pages. Whoa, that's a book? It looks like bad news. It's just something I found lying around. It would appear to be some sort of gr grimoire, but I don't really believe in that magic stuff. A grimoire? Uh, like a book of spells? I don't know. Who would spend so much time decorating a magic book if it weren't really powerful? <laughs> I I can I can think of one surefire way to find out. You open the page to cover covered with arcane warnings. Cast only in case of extreme emergency, it says around the edges of the page. I could use this spell in here that says it'll erase anyone I choose from all of my memories. If I scrub out Colonel Sanders, it would probably help me focus better on the upcoming final exam. That is way drastic. I couldn't you do something else, like anything else? Not rooted in dark magic? Maybe tie a string around your finger. Okay, fine, it is desperate, but desperate times call for desperate measures. You've got a memory racing spell sitting right in front of you and a pretty good excuse to try it out. Oh my gosh, do you think that if I, if I cast the forbidden spell and then like we just fall back in love because I cook such a good meal or what? I think we should cast it because I think it just could be fun. <sighs> Let's do it. You begin to recite the smell, but you stumble the words and the only effect it seems to have is to make you forget what you were doing. Oh, right. After I look, after looking on the page again, it comes rushing back to you. You've got a memory racing spell. Oh God. So maybe we aren't supposed to do it. Should we try it again? And <laughs> just like keep messing up. <laughs> okay. I guess we can't do it. Take your friend's advice and put the book away. It's almost time for class. Sprinkles is always already in the room waiting for the students to arrive. He clears his voice to make a quick announcement. I want you to all to know I feel something of a dog moment coming on, but I assure you it's nothing to be afraid of. His cute little nose scrunches up and he begins to breathe quickly. He must be hungry. Dogs can be rather... Oh God, are we gonna kill him with homework if we give him something? Let's, let's wait. Sprinkle stops in his tracks. He focuses on the window. The room is deadly silent. When you follow his gaze, you see a tiny orange squirrel perched on the cherry tree outside. Sprinkles turns feral and runs to the window out of the classroom. Um, of the classroom. He begins barking uncontrollably at the squirrel outside. Terrence, I told you to never come back here, Terrence. I will destroy you, Terrence. Sprinkles is barking ferociously, drool flying off of his face. The squirrel looks over, but he doesn't say anything back. You wonder, is that even a talking squirrel? Who named him Terrence? You'd better not show your chubby cheeks around here ever again! After Sprinkles is satisfied with that his presence has been felt by not only Terrence, but any other squirrel in hearing distance, he returns to his professional tone. <clears throat> I apologize for the outburst. This actually brings up an important point. Thank you, Marissa, for reminding me to dole out this indispensable bit of wisdom. You see, before he can get any further, Miriam's love drama spills over into the class. Sprinkles is interrupted by whirs and sparks coming from the back of the room. I told you to save it for after class. Bzz, bzz, bzz. You think I wanted to be thrown from a plane strapped to a stranger? Miriam and Clank seem to be arguing, but you still haven't learned to speak Clank's language of mechanical noises. Where, 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 where? But no, you had to show off your cool kid friends, Jeff and Joan, J and J forever. Watch us form a triangle in midair as we descend. Triangles are the strongest shape, don't you know? Bzz, bzz. Yeah, well, that doesn't make it a great date. Beep. Where, 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 where? Then take it. Then take Jeff and John with you. You can all hold hands as you pedal down the mountain or off a cliff for all I care. Echo! Thank you so much, Echo, for two gifted subs. Thank you! Uh, Dinky, enjoy, 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 enjoy. 
Echo, thank you. I appreciate you so much. I hope your I hope your day is wonderful. Thank you, Echo. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Have a good day at work. Dude, this is so silly. Beep, 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 beep. That's my sad beep. Clink begins to shudder. Steam pours out of the gaps in his panels, and then a loud ding stops him in his tracks. Beep. Bzzz. No amount of seasoning is going to make you me want to eat that clank. What the fuck? Clank burps out a completely deep fried sneaker. Considering that he himself has wheels and not feet, it's not entirely clear where it came from. In terms of deep, fr deep friend footwear, I guess it looks okay. Clank slowly rolls out of the room to be alone with his shoe. Everyone tries to pretend like they didn't see the entire thing go down. What? Nothing like a loud public breakup to cast at Paul over the final day of school. Well, that was unfortunate. But we mustn't get distracted from what lies ahead. The final competition showdown challenge exam, trademark. I'm still working on the title, but I think you get it. The test time approaches. See you all in the arena. But before you can think about your upcoming competition, there's a very beautiful soul nearby in need of a pep talk. Hey, Miriam, are you okay? Okay, I'm so mad I could smash a tiny mug, spilling several droplets of hot cocoa all over the floor. How could he embarrass me in class like that in front of everyone? Her tiny cocoa is delicious treasure, so you know that this breakup is no joke, even if the source of her frustration is a silly boy. I know you know this, but I'm going to say it out loud. You don't need anyone. Me and you, we're going to cruise through this final test and hit the carpool lane to Success City. Miriam, <laughs> a boy. You don't need a robot. <laughs> Miriam brightens up, imagining the wind rushing through her short bangs, but she hesitates to embrace the feeling all the way. You're not going to saddle up on Colonel Sandal's stallion right up into the sunset without me. Of course not. Well, maybe it's sort of, but I'm going to, I'm, <laughs> I'm sure there's a pony out there with your name on it and a ranch big enough for both of us and whoever else we want to bring along. If it's not Pop or Clegg or anyone else you meet today, tomorrow, or this whole year, so what? You're a special person, person who shouldn't settle for the first someone to show you a little interest anyhow. Miriam gives you a big hug and wipes the cheers from her cheeks. Cheers. The tears. I should really review my menu for today. I'm going to make it a very special soup. And I bet that Professor Dog is going to love it up. Love it up? What word is that? While you were pep talking, Miriam, you completely missed lunch, but that's okay because you had a better idea of how to spend your time before your exam. You've decided to head over to the arena early to practice a dish. This is it, the location of your final challenge, a test of will, a test of courage, a test of talent, and a chance to beat the pants off of Van Van, the supposed man-man, and his eviler counterpart, Ashley. As planned, you begin to run through a quick test of a recipe you've been working on, Marissa's famous chicken pot pie. After practicing for months, making this dish comes second nature to you, and you're able to quickly get a fresh pot of pie in the oven. But as soon as you do, your cram session is interrupted by Colonel Sanders. Marissa, what are you doing here? There's still time before the exam. Oh, just taking it all in. I'm big into visualizing success. I'm looking at my station and picturing victory. The pot pie has begun to bake and the smell is slowly filling the space around you. Visualizing, huh? That's too bad. I was hoping you were in here cooking something delicious. You'd usually happily share your food anyone with anyone who was hungry, but the last time you let Colonel Sanders in your head, it cost you a cook-off. You decide that it's time to put your cooking above your romantic desires, but that decision gets hard to stick to when the oven timer goes off behind you. Oh God. Oh God, I, I feel like if we don't, if we ignore it, we're gonna burn down the kitchen. Let's, I'm gonna fess up. Oh, okay, you got me. 
I'm doing a little bit more than visualizing. I know, my nose can smell pot pie for 400 yards away. There's an oddly specific distance, but you'd expect nothing less from such an oddly specific man. You knew it was pot pie just from the smell. Not just pot pie, but a chicken pot pie with an all butter crust. And my nose is telling me something else. Oh no, is it burning? Ha, no, I can smell that it was made with a heaping help, helping, heaping, helping, heaping, helping of TLC. But it'll probably start burning any second if you don't pull it out. The moment of truth. <gasps> wow. This is the best pot pie I've ever tasted. I've always loved country cooking as, and I could eat this all day. There's no time left. The final showdown is about to begin. Sprinkles lays down the ground rules. There are no rules, that is, except to cook with everything you've got. You step up to the cook-off for a lifetime. Uh, you decide that mac and cheese plus the pot pie you've been practicing are just the dishes that'll push you over the edge to victory. Me and Wild, both Van Van and Ashley, are prepping wildly elaborate dishes per their usual over-the-top selves. Miriam and her giant magnifying glass and several sets of tweezers, she's definitely preparing to go big, to go big going small. Colonel Sanders seems to be harnessing his 11 herbs and spices, but he's trying to find a way to improve on something perfect. His original re recipe, all rights reserved, fried chicken. This is none other than Colonel Sanders. Colonel. Colonel. The intensity in the room starts at a full 10 out of 10 with a frenzy of action. Everyone is calling out cool special cooking moves as they prepare their food. Wow, this is getting serious. Colonel Sanders batters his cake as he levitates through the air. Egg wash! Miriam fur furiously injects ingredients into an itty bitty pot of broth. Best friend, bastard blaster! Van Van flexes his pectorals as he chops open a sea urchin. Let's rock and roid. Ashley scoops her pastries off the tray with lightning speed. Shallow personality spatula. Even Clank gets into it. Five dial pressure point chicken cooking technique. Wait, when did Clank learn to speak English? <gasps> it's the singularity as it was foretold. We mustn't let it happen or the appliance uprising will take us all. This is literally Dune! <laughs> Smashing Pokemon and now Colonel Sanders. Yes, it's been a great string. self distraught Van Van quickly unplugs Clank and rolls him out of the back door of the arena. As you frantically prepare your dish, you know that Ashley has her spell book out. Is she going to use some dark magic to turn the tide? You've got a book of your own and you're desperate to not... See her win another battle. Should you take this opportunity to fight magic with magic, even if it's most certainly evil magic? Do it the hard way. Who needs magic when you've got passion? Oh my goodness. <laughs> what is this? No, you are. Oh my gosh. That is so cute. That is such a cute emote. Um, good night, Anna. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, your evening. Thank you for hanging out, lurking, riding, doing your work. I appreciate it. I'm going to do this the hard way. Colonel Sanders sees that you've chosen to win on your own terms, and he gives you a subtle wink from across the room. I believe in you, Marissa. Miriam notices too. And I've always believed in you, Marissa, since we were little kids, because I'm your best friend forever. You turn to notice Miriam is at your station, cheering for you. Miriam, what about your dish? If you're here cheering, who's cooking? Tiny food, short cook time. I'm actually already done, so I thought I'd help you. Oh, that's sweet, but Miriam tosses a handful of spices directly into your boiling noodles. It's a secret ingredient. <gasps> However, she doesn't know that you lied about the ingredient uh, and was made up. And where in the world did she get an eye of Newt from? 
The boiling pot explodes, sending Miriam flying backwards. The watery noodles begin to swirl in the air, bubbling up into a dark cloud that thickens and congeals before your very eyes. It is I, Steve, the Spork Monster! Steve? Wait, what happened to Borko? You're not here to battle me, are you? We Spork Monsters are many. I think Borko had a day off. But I... But you have conjured Steve, and I hate to battle, so I'd say you're doing pretty all right. Oh, hey, you're in the middle of cooking a cooking competition. I love this stuff. It's better than TV. You crazy kids and your culinary skills really impress me. Mind if I hang out? I'm sorry, Steve, but I'm kind of in the middle of something. Do you mind? Steve, the spork monster, noticed that you got the grimoire stashed beneath your cooking station. I see what you're up to. Crisscross the magical items and accidentally summon me, huh? Uh -huh. Yeah, you guys just sort of. If you're here, would you mind tossing some fresh noodles in a pot of salted water? I'd love to. I've always wanted to be a top chef, actually. You know, when I was just a little spork pup back in the old country, you can feel spork monster winding up to tell you a very long and involved story. You don't know exactly where they came from, but it seems like it was probably lonely there. Thank you, babe. Actually, you know what? Maybe you should watch from the stands. I really need to focus on this competition. I understand. It's kind of like that time in my school and I had fallen asleep during a scare doctor class and when I woke up, you toss a serious stare at Steve and he takes the hint. Never mind, I'll tell you later. Good luck! Having suffered from this huge setback, you don't know if you could ever win. Give up and drop out of culinary school! It's so fucking stupid and what is this music? You summon extra power from deep down within yourself. I can do this. I have what it takes. I came here to win. Your hair turns mac and cheese orange as culinary energy flows through your body. My heart is pure. My hands are steady. My taste buds have been preparing their entire lives for... Yes, Marissa, you are the chosen one. You will avenge me. The powers you've been summoning immediately fades back out. You interrupted my inspiring monologue. Sorry. My heart is pure. My hands are steady. My taste buds have been preparing their entire lives for this moment. I will show the world my cookery. You begin to levitate off the ground. Energy courses through your body. You know that with this power, you can do anything. Except turn back time, which would be super useful because while you were powering up your chicken pot pie, overcooked in the oven and can't be served. But don't worry, dear Marissa, you may have suffered some setbacks, but all is not lost. Impressed with your fortitude, Colonel Sanders decides that you have earned his support. I have been watching you today, and I must say, I am truly impressed. You've been thinking on your feet and rolling with the punches. He steps up to your station and stands right beside you. I'm here to help. All you've managed to make is mac and cheese, and time is almost up, so you're going to need it. But Colonel Sanders, what about the test? What will happen to you? What about the rules? Following the rules has never been my thing. I follow my heart. What a guy. Colonel Sanders unfolds a delicate white towel to reveal the most delicious fried chicken tenders you've ever laid your eyes on. And besides, sometimes unexpected combinations can have surprising effects that surpass their individual efforts. Are you suggesting? If we combine forces, we can form the perfect food union. Time's up, students. With time expired, it's the moment everyone has been waiting for. You must now prepare to present your dishes. A handful of students stand tall, but the class seems incomplete. It seems you're missing some students, Pop. Clank? From off screen, you hear the pure and innocent giggle that can only come from one student. <laughs> I'm lying! It sounds like it's coming from that broom closet over there. Miriam, would you mind? Inside the closet, you see Pop hanging on a broom hook by the elastic of his underpants. Pop, get down from there right now. Let me guess, did Van Van have something to do with this? When someone asks for a wedgie, who am I to refuse? I thought a wedgie was a salad. It looks like Pop is eliminated from the challenge seeing how he didn't cook anything. That's kind of fucked. He was 
I can't feel my legs. May I be excused? Sure. You and your kid, you kids and your pranks. I must say, it's not the worst prank in UCSAL history, but it's not exactly yearbook material. Wait a second. Pranks, pranks, clank. Where did that pressure cooker roll off to? You wait to hear a signature whir, beep, or other onomatopoeia, but there's none. Somehow he must have gotten unplugged, I guess. We'll have to figure that out later. That leaves only four remaining students. Please collect your final projects. Yes, it has been a long semester. Wow, three whole days long. But after days of hard work, the time has come. The time has come for me to eat. Miriam, please step forward. Now describe your dish. I've made tender udon noodles and a savory soup. My word, it's so delicate. And that teeny tiny Naruto Maki, I spy a float in its itsy bitsy bowl. Yes, chef. That's that is so true. That's so long for dog. That's like three months. Please call me Sprinkles. Chef is my father's name. Yes, Sprinkles, and some green tea made from baby tea leaves that I picked myself. Sprinkles carefully sniffs around the edge before opening his mouth and letting just the tip of his pink dog tongue dip into the bowl. Sublime. Would anyone else like a taste? Oh, come on. I'm not one of those dogs who doesn't floss. I even have a really cute electric toothbrush for dogs. Fine, I'll enjoy it by myself. And in a flash, the entire meal has been devoured. Not that it took much. It was less than a thimble's worth of soup. A plus. Rarely do I taste a dish with as much love poured into it as yours. Miriam is overjoyed. She gives you a huge hug. Thank you, Marissa, for helping me to believe in myself. Van Van, you're up. Now describe your dish. I made... <gasps> Uni... Uni over smooth egg custard in an axe-hewn urchin shell topped with caviar. Did you skewer one type of urchin with the spines from the second different colored type of urchin? Yes, sprinkles. A bit much, don't you think? That's exactly why I did it. A bit much is kind of my brand. Doesn't it look cool? Sprinkles leans in to sniff the, the uni, but he can't get his nose close enough on account of all the spikes. He begins to paw at it erratically, causing the custard to slosh around. Woof, woof. Please be gentle with my cuisine. Finally, Sprinkles goes all in, tongue first, but he can't get past the needles. He reels back as his tongue is poked and prodded. Youch, my tongue! The professor appears to be having an allergic reaction to the sting. I can't eat this. It keeps poking my tongue. This qualified. A stunning turn of events. Who would have thought that serving food on a bowl made of needles could make it difficult to eat? Dejected, Van Van does not go gentle into the night. Disqualified for glamour? Don't this come simplicity? This isn't the last you've heard of me. Before f forcing us to endure his swollen tongue for another moment, Sprinkles graciously laps up a bowl of milk. I know, I know. I Yeah, I'm a dog and I drink milk. Get over it. Sometimes it helps calm my agitated tongue. Oh my gosh, Brooke, thank you so much. I'm really feeling it. I'm really feeling it. Uh, do you have any idea? My father will hear about this. I'll have you know, my father's on the on the board of this rinky dink university. Next student, Ashley. It's time to step up. Now describe your dish. I made orange blossom Turkish delight in a light rose butter syrup topped with French marin 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 gay. Is that how you say marin gay? And connected by sugar glass. Meringue. Oh, it's meringue. Sorry, I sorry, I sorry, sorry. Sorry. Meringue. We can be meringue here, you know? <laughs> Hi, cowboy. 
Your father, the inventor of Toaster Trudel. <laughs> hey, we are almost done with this crazy uh, Colonel Sanders dating sim. And the game literally yelled at us for trying to have sex with the Colonel, which I think is fucked. I know, it's crazy. So we got the two, the two merches to give away in one hour. When we get to 23 hours, we're almost at 22 hours. Oh, my throat hurts though. I can't wait to be done with this. I, can we have like a whole hour of just like not talking? Is that okay? I don't think I can talk anymore. <sighs> I know, so exciting. And it's, I mean, it's mostly due to you, cowboy. So thank you so much for your support. You the best. Okay, I clicked I clicked on my OBS and the fucking game closed. I am taking the day off. Yeah, I am gonna be so fucking lazy tomorrow. I need to recover. I worked all weekend too, at like a job job. And then doing this, I'm like, I'm beat. So I'll be back on, on Friday. I may or may not do like an impromptu Thursday stream, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna force anything, but just cause like Nathan will be at work. So if we wanna get in, if we wanna get in another stream for the week, we can. Either that or I might, s what are we doing this weekend? What is the plan? Why do you have a job interview on Thursday? So I might not stream, otherwise I'll forget. But I could stream this weekend, perhaps. Yeah, lazy hype for real. This has been an, such an experience, though. I've never, I've never streamed this long before, so it's very. Uh, I don't know how people do it. Like people that do, uh, like subathons and tipathons that last like days on end. Like, I fucking my throat hurts so bad from talking so much. And I feel like if I if I if I if I stop talking, then the stream is boring, you know. Dude, why don't you stop typing? <laughs> okay, we're almost done with this. We're almost done. I'm just trying to explain how I feel about how much I've been talking. You have to pick up the kitty. Have a good evening. Have a good day off. I jump from stream to stream. I'm sure I'll say hi. Okay, Zach. Well, I hope your kitty's good. If it's your kitty. Yeah, I'm a yapper. I'm yapping. Have a good night, Zach. Good rest of your day. Thank you, cowboy. Why are you laughing at your own message? Hi, pretty girl. What are you doing? Yeah, what are you doing? my clothes in here oh he's laughing at you cowboy okay okay blah 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 blah. that actually doesn't sound too bad indeed it's quite delightful however i'd ask that you please refrain from eating it or attempting to taste it in any way it's very fragile and meant to be used splay piece don't eat the food at a cooking school Got toast in your ear to something, Marissa? I told you, it's a display piece. Ashley, I must say it is beautiful. However, this is a cooking competition at a cooking school. Yeah, which is why I cooked it. And I did an extremely good job cooking it too. I didn't realize we were having an eating exam. If I wanted to be judged on eating, I'd go to the College of Eating School for the Hungry. I suppose you could smell it if you absolutely insisted, but don't breathe too hard. You might disrupt the sugar spiral. I absolutely am not. No, I'm not. You should see my book club uh, PowerPoints. 
they're they're quick to the point they remind me of what I need to talk about and then we talk about it for two hours it's like five slides that's it most of them are pictures if the food cannot be eaten it cannot be judged you are disqualified rage overtakes Ashley and she finally cannot keep her two-faced routine up you wouldn't know high-end cuisine if it cooked you and with that, Ashley storms off to rededicate herself to being the best, but this time without being shackled by trying to be fake nice and liked by everyone. This isn't the last you've heard of me either. If this class gets much smaller, I'll be teaching myself. You and Colonel Sanders are the final cooks. Uh, the final cooks step up together. Two chefs? What? Begin. What? What? Why did I say like what? What began as a bowl of delicious mac and cheese has become something else. Oh, Jesus. He examines it closely, sniffing and eyeing the bowl. Uh-oh, I don't have a good feeling about this. From somewhere in the room, a literal drum roll plays. Just when I thought I've seen everything in this kitchen, you give me this, this thing, and complete me... Com <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and completely, and completely blow me away. In my 49 dog years of life, I've never tasted anything so delicious and perfectly balanced. So delicious, in fact, that everyone passes the class. Whoa. You pass, you pass, you pass, you get a pass. Everyone gathers around and partakes of and partakes of the mac and cheese bowl, they all seem to transcend this reality into another dimension. You win! Together, you and Colonel Sanders have made a new menu item. The new menu item is so impressive that even, even the Van Van and Ashley are drawn back by its magnificent fragrance. When they gaze upon your mac and cheese bowl, they admit that you are indeed an excellent chef. Sprinkles declares that you have passed. Everyone has passed. There were supposed to be more battles, but come on. How could they be better than this one? Now that the school year is complete and everyone has graduated, the students return for one last assignment to get their groove on. The cafeteria has been completely redecorated in order to serve as the site of the school's graduation dance. Do you think we're going to kiss? Do you think we're going to kiss? Do you guys think we're going to kiss? <gasps> Compared to the massive high-tech cooking arena, the humble decor seems downright cute and cozy. DJ Dog is in the house. Oh, oh, oh. You knew that Sprinkles was a master chef, but also a world-renowned turntablist? Who says you can't teach an old dog new tricks? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh! Oh, are we getting out of our chef costumes? Van Van and Ashley tell everyone that they've committed themselves to righting the wrongs they did while they were the villains. For a moment, you actually believe them. Not another haunting. No ghosts allowed at graduation. It's clearly written in the school's bylaws. I was never actually a ghost. It was all a trick to get you to finally notice me. Oh, amusing. And now that everyone is together, it's the spork monster. He is totally mellowed out. Everyone, the spork monster is no more. From here on out, I prefer that everyone refer to me by my name. Party monster. Student tries to finish what he had to say. But everyone is too wrapped up talking to Spork. Sorry, party monster. Dejective student walks off. Maybe the thing... What the fuck is happening here? I'm so lost. I'm lost. It's it's lost me. Maybe things didn't work out for Miriam romantically, but she found the love in her cooking, and uh, you know she's going to do great. A red carpet rolls out the, across the floor of the ballroom. It's like a Hollywood movie premiere. Who could command such an entrance? It's Pop. He's arrived late to the dance, but apparently for a good reason. Walking the carpet, you see perch atop his dirty chef's hat, a crown. Welcome back, Pop. I know you weren't able to compete in the final exam and to accept your diploma, so we had it mailed directly to your father. We figured it was the least we could do for the school's dean. Oh, now I get it. <laughs> And we get a new wing on the school, not to mention the honor of educating the son of Chancellor such and such. The music at the dance is interrupted by the sound of sparking and electrical hissing. It's Clank. 
who has arrived late to the dance. Now that I've graduated, I can reveal my truth. Whoa, he's still doing the talking thing. I am Clank and I am not of this earth. I'm actually from a faraway planet in another dimension. Okay, they're making like really big lore for this game. I mean, is there gonna be a second one or like what, why? Why all this lore? What? I actually feel like I knew this the whole time. Now that I've uh, learned the ways of your kind, I must return. Miriam, will you come with me? I don't know what to say. Besides, no, obviously. I've just begun to learn who I really am. This isn't the time for me to devote my life to figuring out who you are, Clank. You're blown away by Miriam's maturity. It's pretty clear she has managed to surpass you in that regard. <laughs> I understand, kind of. Humans are weird. A portal opens up and Clank disappears through it. I'm at least we're getting some closure for all these people, I guess. Finally, Colonel Sanders arrives. I like him better in this suit. <laughs> Howdy, classmates. Oh my god. KFC for dinner. Well, I'm sure it's shit not cooking. No offense. Just like the first day you met him, he's come prepared to feed the entire class. However, it's not enough to just give them a bucket of chicken. This time, it's a full meal. <laughs> so fucking stupid, I can't. Oh, this is so fucking stupid. Ah, my brain. I didn't get to be the most famous chicken man in the history of chicken and man by not reminding people to go out and buy my chicken. The end? Question mark? It's not the end. As everyone feasts on their delicious chicken dinner, Colonel Sanders finds you sitting at the edge of the dance floor. We better fucking kiss or I am just going to write a one star review on this game. Marissa, what are you doing sitting all alone? Oh, you know, just waiting for the right person to ask me to dance. You know, just girl things. I wonder, might you tell me, what are the qualities that you would expect to find in such a lucky person? Oh, look, he's all sweaty. Off the top of my head, I don't know, spicy mask, a tidy goatee, and a degree from the University of Cooking School Academy for Learning, just to name a few. It's truly my lucky day. Would you dance with me? Yes, I would love to. As you glide across the dance floor, hand in hand with Colonel Sanders, the future stretches out in front of you. And once my a thousandth franchise is up and running, I'll be ready to take a day off and I'll be so glad to spend it together with you, Marissa. How sweet, we'll work together and play together. Big wink there. Colonel Sanders stops dead in his tracks. Work together? Well, um, I think this is something I'll need to do by myself. But who will help you run your restaurants? I don't believe I need help. Besides, based on your time at school here, do you really think running a restaurant is the best path forward? Could it be you found a love connection but failed to earn Colonel Sandals? Sandals. Why do I keep calling him Sandals? Sanders. Respect as a chef? Could you live with only half of him? Would you be able to endure sharing him with other love? The life of an entrepreneur? Entrepreneur. I know how to say it. I'm just being funny. Sandals. He's fucking sandals now. I suppose I could enroll at pastry school. Oh, my dear Marissa. I'm sure you'll find your place eventually. And along the way, you'll have me by your side. Closing it. I'm closing it. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. That ain't it. That wasn't it. That was, we didn't get fucking anywhere. We didn't get anywhere. Well, the thing is, it's free. And no wonder it's fucking free. I'm just going to say that. I actually kind of want to look at the reviews. <laughs> what do people say? Very positive. 
How do you see, like, is there stars? Is it just very positive? Oh my God, one person recommended it. They said, he's so hot. Okay, hold on. Let's read some of these. I'm pissed off, actually. Can't date Ashley. Fuck you. <laughs> 26 people found this review helpful. <laughs> Oh, my God. Yeah, he didn't put his gravy on my mashed potatoes. Uh, seriously. Why are you making this game if there's no sex? Uh, I'm sorry. I need sex update. Please, I beg you. I uh, that. Yes, it's so helpful. I'm going to thumbs that one up. 12,000 reviews. I am, I'm horny and angry. No head. It, oh my God. Bye, Raul. I hope that you have a good day at work. Ah. Uh, these are people who go for random anime dating sims all the time. Seriously, feed me fried chicken, daddy. No, we needed something. You don't even fucking kiss him. And when you try, they don't even let you. I bet you, you know, when we get kicked in the face by the horse when it says that you get the option to go in for a kiss, I bet you would have just like slapped you down. Yeah, I don't think we should ever buy KFC. I, it's just going to leave me d feeling disappointed and unsatisfied. I feel like if, if I learned anything from this fucking simulator, I'm going to just be craving something else afterwards. So Make my wish come true for Christmas. Gabby! Oh my God, you're so sweet! Dude, I guess, yeah, getting five gifted subs is way better than getting a kiss from a fucking pixel, pixelized Colonel Sanders. Thank you. I love you. Um, I've heard the bit. <laughs> oh, yeah. We don't fuck. We are boycotting KFC. Fuck it. I'm not I'm not here for it. Hi, David. Thanks. We got two more hours. In 50 minutes, we will we will do um the the drawing for the uh we'll do the drawing for the merch. So if you haven't yet. Fuck KFC. Exactly. And you're fucking from KFC that state is the chicken really the national bird fuck that place i'm pissed i'm pissed okay pick a pack any pack we have um maridon we have uh, don't know what the fuck that one's called Gallade, but not we have tyranitar Happy birthday. Oh my goodness. David, why? Iron Valiant. Thank you so much, David. Too good to fail. <laughs> thank you for that gifted sub. Um, And thank you for starting the freaking hype train. So crazy. Or we have a Charizard. Or we have the Reverum. Reverum. You vote T-Tar. We got one vote T-Tar. You love Raveroom. We got one vote Raveroom. <laughs> you are so sweet, David. Okay, the only other thing that we had left to do is I was going to read you guys a smut book pa passage. And I don't know who wants to be here for that. I'm going to be super honest. I'm going to be very transparent. It, it will be very funny, but it will also be very graphic. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. I think it'll be really fun, though. 
and it won't be too long either. It's going to be probably it's no, we'll do more horny. We'll do more horny. We have two more hours. What else are we supposed to do? I'm not going to play a game in two hours. I'm sorry. Sonic. Oh, well, we could start Sonic. But no, let me let me grab my my book. We can open these two packs. How about let's do these two packs. We'll read the passage and then we'll open the last three. And then <laughs> how do you make a poll? I don't know. Why don't you learn how to be a mod? You've had 24 hours to figure this out. You've literally been awake with me. <laughs> I was hoping that would happen when I was asleep. No, right when you're awake. He wants to see if people want to listen to the story or have me play a uh, fucking Sonic. Okay. Here you go. Oh shit, sorry. I meant to start music and I just never did. Okay. I can't believe he exited out of my Sudoku also. Made me so sad. <laughs> Make a Paul Pyrotechnics. <laughs> he can do that. I know he's had he's had literally 20 hours to figure this shit out. Wendy, obviously. Wendy. Okay, we got electric. Um, Dolliv. Small of Eva. You can always do the slash as long as you know it. We got Tim Pool. I like this art. I like it. It looks like something that I would paint like for my house, actually. Like on a, like on a canvas. I like it. I, he, I hear him. Okay, here's the thing that is driving me crazy. I hear him upstairs. There's a fucking computer upstairs. I don't know what he's doing. I don't know. He's so silly. Okay, we got some, some circus. We have one of those from the, another pack. Numa. I like that one with the windmill. It's very much, it's very much giving Paldea, don't you think? <gasps> Tokitik! Tokitik is cute. Should Mr. Doctor make a poll? Yes or yes? Ooh, I really like this nine tails. You guys, this is sick as fuck. That art is so cool. I like that a lot. Wow. <gasps> Poltergeist. Poltergeist. Do the cards have a mark? That they're like real, you know what I mean? Like the Pokemon do? Ooh, we got a little Scyther. Hi, Mom. Yeah, it's going well. We're opening a little bit of Pokemon packs. And then I'm going to read a smut chapter. So maybe, I don't know if you want to be there. I don't know if you want to be here for that. <laughs> and we're just making, we're just bullying Nathan right now. Okay, this one is a little crazy. I'm going to be honest. It's Palafin. Like, there's a lot going on in this. We got this one. <gasps> Ooh, Entei! Uh, okay. I like it. We like Daddy Entei. Okay, that was the Rever Room pack, by the way. In case you were wondering. And now we're doing the, the T Tar. Dude, I love Entei. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness you're at lunch so only a couple minutes just checking in well I'm probably I'm gonna get off like right at two 
I need to not. I know, it's so amazing, so crazy. So we're doing a, a double giveaway of the merch. Wow, three votes for yes and two votes for yes. I don't know which one's gonna be in the end. Okay. What What is this energy? Dark? I don't know. Town store. Cryogonal. Which I think I passed, by the way. <gasps> Tokopi, cute. Bonsley. I like this art because I like like the background stuff like that. I think it's really cute. Ooh. Masquerade. Gum shoes. We don't really like gum shoes. Ugh. Ooh, we got poopy tar. That's fitting for the pack. Which we smashed. Just clean that up. Camera upped. I think we got another camera upped in a different pack. Ooh, to go with the, the other little dolphin that we got just now. Ooh. Very cool, very cool. Okay, we can open the rest later. But I need to take a potty break. Oh, there we go. Everybody vote. Polls up. Polls up. Everybody vote. I can't even vote, so. He's a tease. <laughs> Who's the king? The, the Burger King king? Who's Ron? Oh, Ronald. <laughs> there are more votes on if you should make a poll or not. Wow, who voted the Colonel? After everything we went through. I mean, he is smashable, but is he really smashable? No. You can't. You did because you thought it was funny. <laughs> that person likes a tease. True? Is it true, Brooke? <laughs> okay, I need to go grab some water and use the loo. And I will grab my book and we will get into the nitty gritty uh, dragon and witch romance. Okay, I got to find the excerpt, but it's close to the end of the book. Go piss girl then summer. Okay. And then I think on Friday when I come back, we'll start the Kingdom Hearts game. We'll start at the first one and we'll just go from there. How's my cake? I didn't eat it yet. We we literally brought it in here to sing me happy birthday at midnight and then like I just didn't want to eat it. <laughs> like <laughs> it's just in the kitchen. <laughs> But I'll eat it. Maybe I'll eat it tonight. It looks really good. Dude, it's been all over the place. We've been all over the place. So I think maybe, yeah, we should we should get some cake at the end of the stream. Uh, Phoenix, I'm glad you've hung out for so long. Seriously, like hanging out all day. It means so much to me. I'm so happy to have you here. I love your energy. And it seems like you know Bactrian, right? We love Bactrian. Bactrian's like my favorite. Bye, mom. Thank you. I'm unhinged. I love it. I love it. 
<laughs> We're all about the shenanigans. Oh, yeah. She literally just said bye. <laughs> she just said bye. She... <laughs> okay. Okay. I gotta go piss. But have fun. Maybe maybe my dogs will hop up on the chair for you. A back train's back. I was just talking about you. Like always. I was just telling Phoenix, I'm like, I love him Phoenix here. Like back train? <laughs> I don't know what I was saying. Okay, we didn't stream for 22 hours. Anyway, um, you existed. You exist. And you come up to streams. You're here. You're one of my favorite people ever. Oh, wait. Hold on. Wait, no. It's not time for you to eat. Don't freaking whine at me. Crazy guy. Okay, I'll be right back. Feeling is mutual. He's a crazy guy. Are you crazy guy? Are you a crazy guy? He's crazy. Oh, me too. Dude, it's so weird. I did I even finish my dream about you? Sorry, I kick my camera all the time. Did I finish my dream about you, Bactrian? Shh. Um, I had a dream about you like a couple nights ago. And I had a dream about her last night. You did? I yeah, I know, you. but I was half asleep when you were what, telling what me that. You that? that? <laughs> 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 you had a dream about Bedford. Only, <laughs> only I can have a dream. <laughs> Sorry, we're out of it. We've been up for fucking like 30 hours at this point. <laughs> um, I had the one. Yeah, I've had the one I texted you where we were, you were a streamer and you're my best friend on stream. And we were just, I was like, oh my gosh, I love your stream, love your vibe, whatever. And then I literally had a stream the other day that in my neighborhood, like I lived in a neighborhood, but like outside where the street meets the houses, it was like this big old pit. And in the pit, it was, it was like a almost like a convention style where like vendors would come, but it was all like sex vendors. Like it was like people selling dildos, people selling lingerie, like people selling toys, people selling whips, like people selling bonds and stuff. Like it was crazy. It was like a sex convention and it was in my neighborhood. But like because of that and like the the entire surroundings of everything looked like Baldur's Gate too. Like it was like um, there were skeletons lying around. Like it was really dark, creepy. It was really, really like weird vibes and so and you could like literally walk down the street of like the neighborhood that I was in and um you could see the sunshine in different parts of the neighborhood but like when you went to the street that I lived on you couldn't you you it was just dark it was dark everywhere it was cloudy it was like nighttime all the time it was like a, it was like always nighttime and so I went down into the pit because I was streaming and there was like a streamer booth there. So I started streaming at the booth and it was kind of like this, but it was more so like in person, like I had a setup, but then like people could come physically and like come hang out with me as like chatters. And it was really weird. And Matt was there. Matt, Matt is a part of this community, but I believe he's at work right now. And he was there in person. And then two other people were there, but I didn't really like know who they were. And then, um, you came back to you and you came with 141 people. You like raided me, but it was like a real life raid. Like you literally brought 141 people to this like sex convention thing in my neighborhood. And you, it, it was just like a huge party after that. And it was so weird because I was like, oh my gosh, like I'm so embarrassed that like, I'm not doing that good and I like only had three people watch watching me or like in my chat or whatever and then like you brought yes literally in real life it was so crazy it was so crazy and then afterwards there was like this whole part where I was with Mr. Doctor and like there was this like weird roller coaster it was like a tandem roller coaster where like I would be on one seat and he would be on another seat and we would like go on this roller coaster around everywhere, but we kept getting stuck or like the, the, the 
things kept like falling over so we almost just kept like falling around like it was just really dangerous and then we got to this area where we had to get off and then there was like this boss fight or something we had to do but then I like woke up and it was just really weird my dreams never make sense that was the whole th like it was just really weird yeah it was really weird my dreams are very vivid sometimes yeah Ugh, it's kind of annoying sometimes, but my, my husband has it worse than me. Like he has crazy ass dreams and he has, he has dreams that like last a really long time. Like it feels like it lasts a really long time to him in the dream. Um, also hi Wiz. Sorry. I was in the middle of uh, my dream and I, I knew if I was going to say hi to you, I wouldn't have continued my dream, but thank you. Thank you so much. We're two hours left. We have an hour and a half, actually, an hour and a half left. And Wiz, if you're here, do exclamation point giveaway because we are giving away some new merch. It's it's not going to be re released for a while, maybe a couple months. And this is like a pre you can you can get some exclusive like pre merch if you do it. Let me check that it went through. Yeah, you're good. I got you. But we're pulling that in about 30 minutes. Invaded a sex convention is nuts, but honestly, I'm down. Where's the nearest one? So here's the crazy thing, Phoenix, is I told my best friend about this because we were working at a bridal show um, over this weekend. And I told her about my dream and how weird it was. And she said, she told me, because she's like really involved in like, I don't know, the Phoenix general like community or whatever. And so she said that there is a, a show here this weekend. She said that and she was she was like, you have you're having like premonition dreams because I was like, I wouldn't know anything about it, something like that. Like, I would never know on my way. <laughs> it's literally in your name, Phoenix. You got to come to Phoenix. <laughs> Dude. Yeah, it would be amazing. It'd be so amazing. Oh, my my bestie is like the ultimate hype woman. She's so sweet. Oh God, I feel like my hand needs to pop. Anyway, I need to go take a whiz. So you guys, you guys entertain yourself. I'll be right back. I gotta, I gotta pee and then I gotta grab the book and then I will read you some smut, okay? <laughs> While eating food, why would I not stay? Dude, the Smasher Pass was honestly like really fun. I feel like that was really good content. <laughs> I had a good time. <laughs> okay.
Okay, your favorite girl is back with the Bible. <laughs> this is the only smut book I have in my house. And I think I said that last time when I was going through what the rewards would be or whatever. No, I mean, there's only like one sex scene. And like, that's like a series that people would actually read, you know? I don't want to spoil it. Okay. So... To give you context, this is Witch Slayer by Opal Rain. Rain, I guess that's how you say it. Um, it says that this is book one, but I don't think she's written anymore in this series so far. But I think she is from Australia. Let me see. She does. She says, I am from Australia. Um, and it's because she writes things really weird like like spells things really weirdly and adds more stuff anyway all together i really did like this book it was fun it was enjoyable i think it was a little like it was a little eh to get into just because like nothing happens for the first like third of the book why did you do that yeah I, I like it on it makes it a little bit more warm <laughs> yeah oh did you see did you see the light turn off on me yesterday? When you went somewhere, it turned off on me immediately. It turned off on me. It like just turned That one? It just turned off and everybody was like, haunted, haunted, haunted. And I was like, no. I had to look. Maybe I snuck in and didn't. I'm just kidding. Just kind of scary. <laughs> um, but essentially, this is about a girl <laughs> who's a witch and she lives in a a cabin in the woods all by her lonesome away from like civilization this is in like you know common witch times like you know fantasy-esque times and she comes across like a little small lizard that's injured and so she takes it in and she's healing it mending it she's like you know classic witch she she helps people in the village as like a midwife she helps them with like ailments if they are ever sick but you know this is during like witch trials kind of thing it's very it's fantasy it's not based on any kind of obviously reality but i'm just saying like it is still taboo style of uh the writing and stuff uh you know that like being a witch but um Honestly, I think it was a pretty fun book. Some of the lore was a little strange, but there's like a whole prophecy where like she would do this or that or whatever. Um, anyway, so he's a dragon and he can shapeshift into a human. So essentially they find that she helped a woman as a midwife and that lady ended up dying and people saw her like chanting so then the village thinks that she's the one who killed her um and so uh the the village is now hunting her they burned down her house and now she has nowhere to go and then there's like an evil wizard that wants to hunt the dragon and he comes back and saves her after the village wants to murder her. So she, he takes her to his little like dragon trove thingy and they hang out and um, then they just kind of fall in love and have sex. So anyway. Um, I don't know. Some, nodding. what is it? Nodding. Yeah, basically, I don't know the, the dragon has like a knotted dick so it like stays in and I don't know until he can plant a seed something like that okay um I'm trying to find the part where they have sex has a has a dragon <laughs> it's towards the end Yeah, I guess so. Like ducks, yeah. 
<laughs> this is a normal thing in our house now. Okay, hold on. Okay, hold on. I think I found the part. So... <laughs> this is so embarrassing. Okay. I wish we were doing this at night, but it's fine. <laughs> this is so long. <laughs> Okay. Um, essentially, yeah, yeah. She, she, they do have babies. At the end, there's like an epilogue. She has one baby already, and then I think she's pregnant with another one. At the end of the book. Okay. So let's see. Blah, blah. Okay, so basically he takes her out to go flying. Um, and I, I, I want to say this is the first time that this happens or whatever, because she's like really excited about it. So essentially I'll start here and then we will... Um, We'll see how it goes. This is the very end of the book, okay? It's, it's gonna be very spicy, okay? Um, if you're not comfortable, come back in 30 minutes. That's all I'm gonna say. You don't have to be here if you're not comfortable. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, he landed right in the front of the mouth of the cave. So this is where he lives, not wanting to frighten her if he glided through his tunnel walls. He reached behind him with one of his front paws, lifting it so that she could slip into it. He carefully placed her on the ground. Rurik, that's the dragon's name, Amalia, the witch's name, exclaimed, spinning to throw her arms around his neck, to hug him and to bury her face in his shoulder. That was so exciting. Thank you. He curled his head around her and brought one of his paws up to return her embrace with his claws curling around one of her shoulders. For you, Amalia, anything. He's in a dragon form, yes. I'm just saying, I don't know, it's a couple pages. You have a whole shelf of smut. I'm so glad you're here. I'm so glad you're here. <laughs> yeah. This, it's a paw. He's in his dragon form. Okay, so he says, for you, Amalia, anything. She leaned back to look into his eyes, her smile just as bright as it was when she was in the sky. You were right. Clouds really are made of water. Rurik had made it his mission to fly through every single one he could find. Her giggles had been part of the reason. The other was because the condensation of them caused her clothing to wetly cling to her. But why are you suddenly so small now? She looked over his face and then body to see he was the same size as her. You're rarely this size when you're in your dragon form. Rurik typically liked to remain his full size when he was in his lair. If he needed to be small, he found it easier to have full dexterity with his human hands. I am reading smut, yes. If you don't want to be here, you don't have to be. <laughs> We read a lot of smut, we can't help it, so true. That is that is not surprising though, Afro. That is a lot of that is a lot of like student debt, you know? So he says, You are mine, Amalia, he said, taking a step forward and licking across his snout while heat flared through him. Her brows drew together in confusion. Yes, I know. Parts of him were clenched at her unhesitant admission. And I will have you any way I want. Her little brows drew together even tighter as she retreated into the cave. Taking them out of the sunlight in any form I can take. Her eyes drew wide and she stumbled back a step before tripping to land on her backside. She pressed her hand against his shoulder when he crawled above her and pressed his snout against the crook of her neck and shoulder. He let out a deep expire when he took in her scent directly against her skin, unable to stop himself from licking to taste it. Sorry. <laughs> Please donate to our cause. <laughs> all subs, all subs are going to more smart books, okay? <laughs> Zero debt, I promise. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> I love you. 
Emily Henry's books. I feel like I've heard of her, but I don't think I've read. Bye, Nick. What, like it's hard? It's about to be. It's about to be. Okay. She says, wait, can we talk about this first? Why? He took in another taste of her, refusing to allow her to push him away. He did, however, pull his head back to stare at her with a small frown. You seemed content with the idea when we spoke of it. That, her face grew bl blistering red, that was because you were inside of me. <laughs> and you came around when you... <laughs> And you came around me when I told you I would take you like this. Somehow, somehow her face grew even more flushed. It caused a deep chuckle to rumble from him. That was only last night. I, I, I just needed more time to adjust to the idea. I thought you said I was handsome in my dragon form. A spike of uncertainty la lanced his gut to twist his insides. He took a step back, and his jaw clenched shut before it relaxed. I thought that you would desire me like this. She averted her eyes to the side. I do. He would have thought she looked away from him with misgivings if the subtle smell of arousal didn't lift into her already, her already mouth-watering scent. But how do you know you will fit like this? <laughs> I should finish. Me too. I haven't finished. I'm so close. <laughs> okay. When she drew her thighs together in an attempt to hide it from him, ease and desire and excitement began to thrum inside of him once more. It pooled heavily in his gut. Because, Amalia, he nearly purred, reaching his paw forward to grasp her calf. He drew the skirt of her dress up, and up her leg until he could lean down and draw his tongue over her thigh. I know every inch of your body well enough to know what size I need to be so you can take my cock. <laughs> Why am I good at this? Dude, okay, honestly, I have been, re like, I, I think it's because we did Colonel Sanders. Hi, Light, welcome back. <laughs> Disclaimer, you don't, you don't have to be here if you don't want to be. I've read him all of this. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Omnicorn, I definitely need to hydrate. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> her body twitched when he buried the tip of his snout under her dress and licked across her closed legs right at the top of them, stroking the tuft of hair over her pubic mound at the same time. The smell of her arousal grew with him so close to her pussy. It, sorry, <laughs> I just feel like it's it's normal for me to say this in my day-to-day -day life, but like on the internet, it's just a little weird. <laughs> it nearly felled him as it caused his eyelids to shudder. Mmm, so sweet. His cock almost fell from the slit, holding it back. Okay, so like hit, he's a dragon. He's, he's a dragon, so like he... It like goes into his body and so it like will come out if that makes sense so like if it if it's weird he's in he's a dragon right now isn't that normal, isn't that normal? like is that normal your normal little other smut books <laughs> okay um where was i okay uh it was growing, hardening by the second. He could already feel the base of it trying to protrude under the pressure while the head remained fully buried. He had to clench his abdomen muscles to stop it. Y you've been sizing me up? She pushed at his head with a disgruntled pout. No, he chuckled. I just love your body and pussy so much that I know everything about it. I know the way it feels, the shape of it, the taste of it. How it likes to ring on my cock if I prod against you the right way. <laughs> I'm gonna just sweat. This is their first time banging as dragon human. <laughs> they've they've had sex a plenty plenty of times as human, human on human. He can he can shift. Um. 
Okay. Uh, his words were met with another roaring blush. Rurik brought his head back so he could grab the front of her dress and tear it down the middle with his claws. He yanked it from her in one swift movement, and her body slipped closer to the action. She let out a loud gasp and immediately covered her breasts. <laughs> As I am now, I will fit inside you. He grabbed both her wrists and pinned them above her head against the ground. He leaned closer, twisting his head so he could lick his tongue against the column of her throat. You will be able to take me all the way to the base so that, so that I will be able to feel the lips of your pussy pressing against my slit if you take me when I am fully hard. Which is only at the end if he was able to sink his knot inside her when he fully extended right. Why, well, I don't know why this is like an afterthought. Like this is just like explaining his penis logic. <laughs> which which was only at the end if he was able to sink his knot inside of her when he was when he fully extended right before he was able to spend dick dragon dick context she let out a little mew when he licked up to her ear before making her shiver when he slipped over it you will be able to take every inch i want to give you you will swallow me completely and utterly whole amalia rorick it was like a whisper, but when she moaned his name with her scent saturated in desire, his entire body gave a shudder from his forehead all the way to the tip of his heart-shaped tail. It surged heated blood all around his body that hardened his shaft. It became so hard that it threatened to fall from its protective slit, making his groin ache and causing near agony when he tried to prevent it from doing so. He let out a deep expire when the sound of his cock slapped against her stomach sounded between them. What was that? She gasped when she felt it, turning her head down to try to look between their bodies. My cock. <laughs> his, his tongue dabbled across his snout. Want to see? Fuck, Rurik wanted her to see. He wanted her to look at his cock while he was in his dragon form. He wanted her to know exactly the shape, color, si and size of what was about to be pumping inside of her precious channel. He lifted his body until he made room between them and looked down to see it resting against her abdomen. It was pink in color, the same as the inside of his slit and in the inside of his mouth, although the tip was pointed. Currently, it was soft and would harden when he was close to the release. The two bulges Im embedded at the base were still slightly inside his slit, partially covered in dark scales that were so soft, he doubted she'd feel them other than the texture. Then he heard her softly panting and turned his gaze up to see her eyes were riveted to it. She was even nibbling at her bottom lip, both with a look of desire and unease. He slipped his hips forward until the thicker base was pressed against her pubic mound, showing where he would end when he was inside of her. The length of it rested at her navel. Okay. Drink. <laughs> Penis logic explanation stream? Okay, thank you for the hydrates. <laughs> He's hydrating too. It's like I can't bear to listen. I'm so sorry, Phoenix. <laughs> Hi, Nori. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so it's so he's showing her where it's gonna let rest. Do you want this inside of you? Her eyes found his. The pink and expression of hers grew, yet her eyes deepened with heat with need. She didn't say anything, of course she wouldn't, but her legs twitched between his like she wanted to spread them in welcome. Spread your pretty thighs and I will give it to you. <laughs> when he lifted one of his back legs, hers started apart so he could shuffle his way between them. He slipped his tongue over her ear just to make her shiver again. I was going to prepare you with my tongue, but I will not wait any longer to feel you like this. He pulled his hips back and slowly slipped the pointed tip of it upwards through her folds, coating himself in the liquid of her arousal that had begun to swell outside her core. That, that, core, it's always core, it's always core. Why is it always core? Even I want it inside me. <laughs> story time, story time. Um, okay, then he slipped it down until the 
Tip found the slit of her entrance. What greeted him when he started pushing inside had him holding his breath. Fuck, she is so soft. Softer than she'd ever felt. So soft that he worried that if he speared forward in the first stroke before she adjusted to him, he'd tear her delicate pussy with the hardness of his cock. His body wasn't the same when he was in his human form. His scale-covered flesh wouldn't dip or mold around her fingers. He would feel harder, not just inside, but all around her, and she felt immensely fragile beneath him. The insides of the females of his own kind were tough to accommodate the hardness of a male's cock. Amalia was the complete opposite, molding around him in plushness rather than him fighting through the tension. Once more, it felt like he was dipping himself into hot cream. Your, your scales are bright, she said around a whisper of a breath. And then one, then a small moan came from her when she was seated, when he was seated deep. Oh, and you feel so hot. Because of you. <laughs> Rurik was heating his own scales. He'd been this aroused in the past, so turned on that his body felt like it was on fire, but being in this form meant she would be able to see it and feel it, to know just how much he wanted her, how much he craved being joined with her. He started to withdraw, and her body clung to him, desperate to hold in the shape and keep him. He surged forward, and his breath left him. In just one stroke, Rurik was lost. All his senses were stolen, leaving him only able to experience her. He only felt her, smelt her, heard her, and even in his darkening vision, saw her. The rest of the world had faded away. The moment he was seated deep again, he couldn't stop to savor her body pushing resistance back around, uh, around him and the head of his cock. He needed to pull back. He needed to feel her cling again to feel the rippling texture of her insides that would stroke him as he burrowed in again. His cock ached so terribly that he moved, that he never stayed still. Um, how much longer is this? Oh God, it's so long. It's like, it's like two more pages, like four more full pages. I, yeah, it's, it's long. <laughs> it's very long. Do you guys want the whole thing? Can you guys take it? <laughs> ah! Do you like what I'm saying? Do you think it's weird? Do you think it's weird? I've heard all this stuff. He's heard it all. <laughs> he, that's what he hears every night. <laughs> every time I, every time I read it, I'm like, oh, you have to hear this. Listen to what he did to her. <laughs> Um, okay, where are we? Where are we? Okay, we're here. Instead of just the tip of his human cock being sensitive, his entire dragon cock was sensitive. It could feel everything, perceive everything. He'd touched her before, had delved his fingers and tongue, but nothing could compare to the way that he was able to explore her like this. Her slickness was everywhere and sticking to him. The lips of her folds pressed against the open slit around the base of his cock whenever he pushed deep, and they felt like a kiss. He had to release her waist so he could steady himself through this. Leaning on one forearm, the claws of his paws stabbed through the end of her hair, haloing around her, and dug into the ground. The other paw needed to hold her, to grab her, to touch her. He curled around the dip where her backside met her thigh, lifting her leg to hold it against him as he increased his pace. Her arms came up to snake around his body to hold onto him. Her fingers tried to dig, tried to find purchase in his scales until she eventually hooked one of her hands around his shoulder from underneath. The other grabbed the base of a wing. He didn't care where she held onto him as long as she did, especially when it helped her to buck her hips into him to assist. Her moans were husky, sultry, so light that they tantalized him, but it wasn't enough. Rurik needed her to melt around him while he was like this. He wanted her to scream. He wanted to know that she was loving the feel of him inside her. And as a wash in pleasure and sensation as he was, if Amalia didn't blissfully break apart and come beneath him, he knew his rage would hold no bounds. 
With the way she felt around him, beneath him, his scales scraping against her skin, he knew he was running out of time. It was body aching, breath stealing, mind numbingly wonderful. He couldn't hold back the way his body reacted to her, to this. His loud groans were constant, his breath so deep they ached on their expire. Fuck Amalia. I don't know if he's thinking that or saying it. it's just in italics, so I don't really know. Do you think. <laughs> I so need a dragon. <laughs> um, his muscles twitched all over and his wings flapped lightly behind him. At any point, his seed would start to rise. It felt like it would destroy him, but Rurik started to thrust his cock in and out of Amalia with mindless abandon, stroking her inner walls constantly. He didn't care how hard or deep he was going. He buried the length of his face against the crook of her shoulder and neck and heaviness of it too much to bear. Wait, she gasped on a moan. He refused to slow, not knowing when he, uh, not, well, sorry, he refused to slow, not when he knew it was the answer to getting what he wanted. Instead, he pistoned faster, spearing her over and over, spearing her, just fucking stabbing her with his cock. It's fucking insane. Oh, sorry, Nori. Uh, let's go to Nordstrom. He was brutal, feral. He, be he became uncontrolled as he pumped into this female, his mate, his witch, his Amalia. Her breath hitched sharply before he felt the first clench, telling him she was readily, uh, steadily growing closer. Rurik, his snout bunched <laughs> as a Rurik. Rurik had his dragon fingers. Because this is how she dies. This is how she gets impregnated. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, his snout bunched as a light growl fell from him. She feels so good already. What will it feel like when she comes? He desperately needed it. He ached for it. Rurik, your claws. Her core suddenly swelled around him and his body tightened. She writhed. Writhed? Sorry. <clears throat> she writhed beneath him as she came, orgasming sweetly around his sensitive cock, hot, heavy, and so wet that it gushed around him. Fuck! He released her leg, and when his hazy mind registered the, the light scent of blood, he retracted his claws from her and placed his paw next to her shoulder as he continued to slam into her, wanting to wring every drop from her that he could. That softness molded tension around him and made her feel unbelievably snug around his hard shaft. He, and he refused to relent, refused to show his thrust to make sure she didn't s slow his thrust to make sure she didn't stop. Her unheaded cries were constant, ear-piercing, yet felt so good to his senses he wanted them louder. A groan fell from him when he felt his spine tingling. The soft pointed tip of his cock hardened and he knew he was about to spill his seed. Her channel clamping around him centered him and positioned him inside of her. In just one simple stroke of his tip becoming firm, she aligned them so perfectly that his eyes snapped open wide and he lifted his head. He felt a tightness right around the head. Oh, Amalia cried beneath him, but it was so high pitched that he knew it was in both pleasure and surprise. Rurik paused. <gasps> I pierced her womb. His movements stilled so completely, despite his entire body shaking. His he thickened, and the rest of his cock pushed towards, uh, pushed forward out of his protective slit before she swallowed his thickening knot. The the bulges at the base of his cock swelled inside her core to the point he would be able he wouldn't be able to pull back past her pubic mound this knot trapping him inside of her and then he felt it the first slow bubble of his seed rising up the length it traveled up it traveled until it rose and had to squeeze through the ring of her cervix clamping around the tip she he fucking murdered <laughs> she's dead <laughs> but pregnant um the pressure of it made him 
take in a deep breath. It was so tight that the only reason it managed to squeeze through was because the second bubble had forced it forward. When it finally broke free, his eyes wildly rolled into the back of his head as he turned up to the ceiling. Amalia! He roared on such a deep bellow it quaked his entire body. His breath left him on each syllable of her name as it escaped him. His paw gouged so deeply into the ground that he knew he had left his claw marks behind and had blunted them so completely that it radiated pain up his finger joints. His wings buckled and tensed so powerfully that the top folded joints clanked together, together and his poor tail, it curled into a twist, desperately seeking to curl around another limb, but only grasped air. It only it took everything inside of him not to thrust, not to push himself further into the womb as he spilled his seed directly inside of it. The pleasure of each spurt bordered on pain and yet felt so remarkable that it was he was enamored in the feeling. His roar turned into a groan so deep and long it shuddered from his lack of breath as he emptied his lungs. Mine. She did this. She gave this to him. Amalia squirmed beneath him as he released each burst inside of her. She gyrated, a arching her back as if she, uh, as she felt each spurt. It was almost like she was moving on him in the exact way he wanted to, but couldn't, shouldn't. Why does it feel so good? Such word from her nearly stopped his erratically beating heart and killed him. <laughs> he, he unconsciously rocked lightly, helping to push through his seed, each one stealing his strength just a little more and blasted him further with, uh, with pleasure. When the strength of his initial sp spending gentled, his body went so limp that he had to fall to the side or he'd crush her. He swiftly grasped her shoulders with one arm while the other paw of the other while the paw of the other one grabbed one of her arse cheeks. <laughs> She's Australian, so he could pull her with him. If he didn't, he could tear her beyond repair with his knot, and Rurik would never do anything to harm this beautiful woman. He shuddered when another slower rise of his semen climbed his cock before it spilled. Her mildly contracting inner walls felt like a soothing flutter, nursing him through the intensity of his spending. This is a lot, huh? <laughs> Um, they both lay there huffing, blah, 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 blah. And basically, that's that's kind of it. Like, that she she just becomes pregnant after that. So that's kind of it. Mm -hmm. they're, now they're done. That's the shit that goes through my head when the teacher asks me to go to the board. What? That's what you? <sighs> yeah, so he did. Um, they, he like, he has to become like completely flaccid, I think, in order to like come out, I think. Like a dog. You seen a dog do it? Yeah, it says like he'll, he'll come for a while, blah, 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 blah. He says, it could be a matter of minutes or an hour before it will soften. He says, with you, I may be here for the rest of the day. This is silly. So that's the book, if anyone wants to get it. It's actually kind of good. It's got a pretty decent story and it's kind of cute. Is she about to get toxic shock? <laughs> Honestly, though. Uh, but she's got she's got a witch brew for that. You know, they got magic. He can do like magic. He, he's got dragon magic. And then I guess like the lore is essentially that like the witches gain their magic from the dragons, which I don't know if that's like a, a fantasy trope, but essentially that's like a big part of the story. Let me just write this down. <laughs> this book is free on Amazon Prime, like a like a Kindle. So that's the story. Thanks for 
tag along. Thanks for Chai for the idea of reading the chapter. I'm glad you guys liked my audiobook reading. Maybe I'll do audiobooks in the future. Trying to get the prize? Yeah. Okay, this is the last call. Whoever's here, um, I'm glad you enjoyed it. It is it is pretty funny when you when you read it when you hear how it's worded. It's interesting, and this one would be so out of place on your shelf. My poor ears. <laughs> um, last call! Exclamation point! Giveaway. To enter the the merch giveaway, we will do two. We will do two polls of of candidates. The last people I have that signed up are um, Day Broski, Brooke, Swedish Car Guy, Maxipo, Red Shade, Foxy, Raul, Wiz, Afro. There are more, but it doesn't show me all of them for some reason. Oh, I think it kind of does. We have 40 people in there so far. <laughs> no worries, no worries. If they didn't, they had tw they had 23 hours to enter, so if they didn't do it by now, it's on them. Oh my gosh, wait, oh my gosh, Gabby is streaming! Ancient alien game? Oh my gosh, we should raid Gabby. Okay, Josh, I got you. Well, Andy, fly with Mira Don. Do what? Fly with me. I don't know. I never unlocked that, like the the bonus fly stuff. How did you get the tune? Oh, uh, I don't know. I don't think I finished the the bonus thing. Okay, is everyone good? We got forty one people. Um, let's see. I'm gonna have to close it and then I think we pull it like that. <clears throat> Am I in there? Um, it should be. Let me see. Wait, no, I never did that. It's okay, I don't want to Why not? Why not? You get one in 42 chance. It's the same odds as everybody else. <laughs> that would be funny for like two wins. Okay, um, I'm gonna close in. Um, and actually, it should post it in chat. Who wins, I believe. It'll tag you. Wait, Chai, were you entered? Yeah, Chai, you were already entered. You were already entered. Oh my gosh, Bactrian wins the first one. But it's closed now, but Pyro... I believe you must have done it. Yeah, you're, you're in there, Pyro. Woo! Yay! So excited. We're pulling the winner now, Mogan, for the for the giveaway. And we're gonna pull two people. So Bactrian won the first one. Yay! Yay, 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 yay. Okay. Let me see it. Draw another winner. I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous. Who's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be? Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> Come on, back to it again. <gasps> red shade is red shade here. Crazy! Wow! 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 Fun stuff. Okay, you guys get the exclusive merch. Um, I can also. 
I can message you on Discord. This doesn't have to be like an immediate thing. You can take your time. I can get some some better uh, pictures of the merch and the different designs because I know that I was showing some of them. Like, uh, um, do, is this all open? Like this one, like you don't really know what it's gonna look like. So I don't I don't expect you to choose it right away, but I'm gonna try to get pictures that all look like, you know, with, with models and stuff. And so that way you can actually choose what you want. But I think for now the choices will just be black or white kind of thing. I think maybe these will come in black and maybe this one could come on a white shirt. It's whatever you want, you want really, but. And then you just let me know your size and your address and then I can ship it at some point in the future. But like literally no rush. Are we going to set off fireworks? Absolutely not. <laughs> I don't like fireworks. Although we do have more Pokemon packs. We have three more Pokemon packs that we can open up on stream. Oh, it's so true. We are going to uh, have cake. We need to get the cake. Which one do you want me to open up first? Charizard, Iron Valiant, Va Valiant, or Maridon? <laughs> We're done with the warm ups. Let's start the giveaway. Oh my gosh, and you know what? I could probably give some of these cards out in the goodie bags. Mm -hmm. I like that. I like that idea a lot. You're trying to copy how I said it? Oh, oh near. Oh, near. I didn't even know what I said. Iron. Arn. Arn. Charizard, of course. We can start with Charizard. I think I figured it out, Chai. So in these ones, it looks like you only get one. So I just put the one in the bottom and then we'll go like this. I run. Pull the Krabby. Woo! My favorite card. Rock. Whooper, kitty. I like that it's pretty. Boozle, boozle, boozle. Such a pro. Smoliv, cutie. We have we just got the evolution of Smoliv in another pack. Varum. Varum. Yeah, I know. Classic Gabby card. <gasps> Excadrill. Oh, that's pretty. Look at the shadows. I love that. I love the shadows on that. We use smash and then we would smash this for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Smash, smash, smash. That is so beautiful. Beautiful sunset. Water snake. Bansley. Got a nice little shiny Bansley. I got another one of these, but it wasn't it wasn't cool. Ooh, that looks sick as fuck. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, burb. 18. Is that supposed to be Route 18? This is Pidgeot. Toxtricity! Heck yeah, I think that's it. Yeehaw, good pack. Good pulls, good pulls. I don't know if that's what people say. Why are you saying it like that? Because I don't. It's, 
I'm indifferent. I'm just, I'm just happy to be here. I just want to show you guys. Okay. I vote um, Maridon next. Yeah, well, yeah, I just like this one more. What do you say? Oh, it's fine. <laughs> you guys, we have how many minutes? 43. 43 more minutes. Huh? That's it. Hmm? What? That shirt? Uh, me. It's for my room. But I have to I have to do a lot of work after the fact. Putting everybody's <laughs> all 160 names on here. <laughs> He's good. He wants to know if anyone can explain how to get um how how to upgrade your your literal Maridon. Oh, I just did it. Yeah. Oh, you did it. Oh, you did it? Never mind, he figured it out. Yeah, Maridon on the fly. We got a very cool basic energy. Very cool, very cool. <gasps> I think I also got a Lucario. So, very nice, very nice. Go goat. It's so funny because we got the one, I think we got the pre-evolution to go, go goat. And um, it's in a fucking city. So it's just funny that this one's like out in the wilderness, like on a mountain. It's just really funny to me. Completely separate. Bye, Wiz. I hope you have a good day at work. Thank you for hanging out. I appreciate you. Oh, absolutely, Smash. Ooh, shop it. I love some of these art. Like this is so almost like minimalistic. I love it. It's sick. Also, Chai, I can give you that one. I can give you Wolu. What the fuck? Oh, this is the the Ostrich ass. Um, Arvin! I like Arvin a lot. Shiny Rocky Albert! <laughs> I just think it's funny that it's shiny. Toad Scroll. Okay, this one's my favorite. This is my favorite so far. Oh, that's my baby. That's my baby. Oh, I love. I love. Love, love, love. And, and it's from black and white, right? Okay, last one. Let's get some really good vibes going. <laughs> okay. Whoa, fighting type energy card. Vanellish. Is he in a fridge? He's literally in a fridge. I don't know if you could see. How stinking cute. So cute. <gasps> Onyx! Smash! Smash! Pass. <laughs> Ooh, Charcadet! Another Charcadet! The other Charcadet we got was looked like so different than that. Ooh, a luxurious cape. <gasps> Ooh, Cyclozar. 
Ooh, okay, this is the last one that we needed of the of the monkeys. Tinka tink. Pretty 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 pretty. Don Dozo. Look at Hydro Splash. What the fuck? What the fuck? That's insane. That's insane move. Porygon Z, smash. Smash. <laughs> okay, that's it. The end. That's all she wrote. Bye, guys. See you on Friday. Nice, huh? Nice and then um, these are the these are the ones that came at the very front of the of the deck. If you guys want to look at them, they got a sweet coon with like the kit. Drops in the ocean. It's very nice. We got a Mr. Mime. That's what the guy said when he sold this to me. He was like, "This pack comes with a confirmed, like, uh, holographic Mr. Mime," and I was like, "Great, thanks." Nice look, yeah? And then we have like the jumbo card of that. I don't know what the fuck it's called, the big card. Little thing, little thing. And ho oh, oh. Very pretty. <sighs> Very cool. Yeah, I love the sweet coon. And we also found an Entei in one of the packs too, and I loved that. Thank you for the hydrate, Nori. <sighs> um, well, I was gonna eat cake and just vibe. I'll just do a little countdown, you know? Yeah, do a little bit, do a little cake, so you're not. Yeah. Uh, I'm okay. I I don't want to. I don't want to get into something. We can just vibe, huh, chat? Chat Did you guys all get to see the cake from yesterday? Because we made it like late ish last night so we can bring it in here and then like cut like bring it in well i'm just saying like bring it in show it off again and um then we can we can cut it in the kitchen we just like bring it in and show it off again because it looks so nice i'm like really proud of that cake oh my goodness phoenix thank you so much honestly it like there was like a big lull at around, I don't know, fucking like, from like two o'clock to about seven o'clock in the morning, this morning, I was like, why did I decide to do this? Especially when the two o'clock mark hit because I was so tired and I was like, I'm only halfway done. And then I thought about, I thought about everything that I had did, done up until that point And I was like, if I just did everything again, like, that's a lot. <laughs> so um, I did. I posted the cake on my story. Yeah. Hmm, out of all my birthdays, do I have a favorite birthday celebration that I've done? Um, hmm. Well, I think this one was really fun. I also streamed. I did a 12 hour stream in what? 2019? No, 2020. It was 2020 when we when we moved into our house, but it was really fun because I did a Bob Ross painting and I did it on stream with you guys. And like some people went on their iPads and did it with me and it was so fun. That shit was so cool. Um, that was really fun. Um, before I met him, I had a really fun birthday. <laughs> I had a really fun birthday where I, um, I went to Vegas for the weekend before my birthday and I was, 
no, I wasn't, I wasn't in college, but I was jobless. I was just, I had just interviewed for a job or I was just about to interview for a job or something. So I wasn't really doing anything, but I had money from like saving up from working in college. And uh, I took a trip with friends to Vegas. We saw Steve Aoki, which he didn't perform until like fucking two o'clock, three o'clock in the morning, which if you don't know, is past my bedtime way past my bedtime even for a fucking uh 22 year old past my bedtime but then um i flew home so we drove to vegas from like phoenix and then i flew from vegas separate all alone back to phoenix got back to my place and then we carpooled with a different group of friends i carpooled with a different group of friends to go down to mexico and we spent like three days there and we got there like the day of my birthday or something like that so it was, it was just like a big birthday celebration with like no one really planned it but i just kind of like jumped into different things and i really liked it i had a really good time it was at my like i don't really care what i'm doing era you know did i you know what i mean like no i don't know what you mean why did you elaborate no <laughs> yeah it Wait, it was really days, fun. How many days is that before you met me? A week. That was a week before I met you. Five days. It was a week. No, you did Well, the time that I had done something was a week before no, I met you. No, I know, you. but I'm saying <laughs> the time that you were in Mexico, you met me five days later. Yeah, well, happens. Fate brought us together. It was a fun time. It was really fun. We smashed Pokemon, made food, made a cake, then he left, came back, and we we're playing Putt Putt, Sudoku. He didn't let me finish my Sudoku. Then KFC dating game. Honestly, though, I did talk for a majority of that, and I, my brain was fried. I think if we did it now, like, I would be fine, but waking up and then jumping into Sudoku <laughs> after like one hour of sleep, and I barely drank any coffee it was rough it was really rough oh you told yourself the only way i'm sitting through a 12 plus hour long stream is for a major charity like what so is it what do you mean like for you to stream or for you to watch a stream Oh my gosh, Molly, you're going to be, I, I'm going to be so honest with you, Molly, if you do end up watching any of those games, because we played three of them. We played all the three that I know. We started with Freddy Fish. It was super quick, super easy. Then we jumped into Putt-Putt and then we did Pajama Sam. And for Putt-Putt, your girl got so fucking confused because I didn't realize I could use the dog in my car. And so I was, I was walking all over the fucking moon to try to figure shit out. And I had two brain cells working at that point you've done a 10 hour accidentally playing minecraft <laughs> just accidentally stream for 10 hours oh my gosh well i want to follow you do you stream often do you stream often why did i ask this so weird yeah freddy fish is old but it's a it's gold papa goes in is so good it's so different than what I remember, but there was like core memories. Like there's like the diner in there where the person's like drinking the juice and then eating the burger. And I just remember as a kid that I would go into that and just be craving burgers. Like it just made burgers sound so good to me. And even then last night I walked in, into that little saloon and I was like, oh, I want, I want a burger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 24 hour stream tomorrow. Yeah, easy. How about I just never stop streaming? We can just always be friends. Just always be online friends forever. I'll just like, I'll just leave the stream running and we can just like go in and out of, you know, you can just, you can come in, you can chat. Sometimes I'll be on my phone outside of the room and I'll just chat. And sometimes I'll come in and, you know, could just be chronically online. Life vlogger. <laughs> streamer house <gasps> me too molly yes when that happened i was like i was like i know what happens on this bridge i don't want to cross this bridge i know i'm gonna fall into like the the moon acid like i didn't want to do it and then i just remember the the glue and i was just like this game is so american they 
It's so like American propaganda. It's like a miracle owns the moon. This this moon rover, it's <laughs> it's American. Look at the flag on it. Even the fucking moon guy, the moon man on the moon, the president of the fucking moon is like, I'm American. It's like so weird. So weird. How long is the streaming record? Like a month? <laughs> moon acid be hidden different. Hi, X-Ray. I'm sad I couldn't say hi to you. I think you were you were here in the morning when my husband was streaming. And yeah, I came in, I think, after you left. So American. Put put was made in America. We call that the steel belt. Well, I guess we wouldn't that they wouldn't have an accent like that. They would be more like, oh yeah, it's a steel belt, huh? Yeah. Up in the northern states, yeah. Michigan. Mm-hmm. I'm a patriot. <laughs> <sighs> Wait, why do you like Helldivers 2 so much? What what part of Helldivers like fits into this? I, I haven't played the game yet, so I just don't know. Then passed out to Apex Legends. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, he, he downloaded Apex on this computer. A month, that's cute. How long is it? A year? Tell me, give me the answer. Dude, Apex is pretty fun though. Uh, it really is, but I can't play it for my sanity. Crying because my boyfriend's family all live in Minnesota and their accent is so strong. Dude, my family's from Michigan and my husband, my husband's like from, you know, like the southern part of Arizona. So we're like polar opposite parts of the states. And like he makes fun of the way I say things all the time because I can't even say bagel, bagel, bagel correctly. I don't know. And I say other things really weirdly, like with like a like a really elongated like a sometimes. And then my parents, when they are around people from the Midwest, they it comes out like a lot for them. But I have an accent. You weren't fucking raised in Texas, and you were rocking around like this. So don't don't talk to me. Oh. My brother. Oh. My brother of all people talking about accents. Georgia. I do not. <laughs> Denial. No, it's it's fine. But I do. I have a weird accent. No, I don't. No, no, I don't. What are you saying? No. Thanks. <laughs> Your boyfriend grew in Minnesota and he's got a heavy accent when he's chatting. Yeah. When my when my parents I feel like when my parents get on the phone, especially my dad, when he talks to his relatives, he's just like, oh yeah. I don't think that I don't know. Who was I talking to? Well, you kind of have an accent just because you're Mexican though, but like I'm just saying, like, when when you went to, uh, what is it called, Missouri, they made fun of you, right? Yeah. But someone was saying, someone was saying something. Sorry, I don't remember. Someone was saying something about someone. Someone was saying something about someone having an accent somewhere. Couldn't tell you who. What story? Who the fuck slandered him? Fucking, um, what is it, Missourians. <laughs> Those miserable fucks in Missouri. Yeah. 634 days nonstop. Wow, wow, wow. Let's beat it. Let's go. We're already at 23 hours. 23 you grew up in California. You lived in Georgia for two years. Now I'm on the Midwest. I feel like I've collected accents, just smashed it all into one. <laughs> yeah. I bet that gets kind of annoying Like when you talk and people are like, oh, where are you from? You have an exit. Where are you from? Missouri. Missouri. Thank you, X-Ray. I appreciate it. Wait, I'm from Missouri. <laughs> Wait, sorry, no. <laughs> You're the nice one. Kansas. You're the probably happiest Missouri Missouri person ever. 
You talk like Seattle people. How do they... How do they do? But here's the thing, even if I did 635 days nonstop streaming, I don't have to like do anything. I just have to like leave my computer on, right? Like who are they to judge? Mm -hmm. I can go out shopping and then come back. My computer will still be on. How did the computer take that? I don't know. I wouldn't know. You have one job and it's stream. I'm like, Ken, it's beach. Thank you. But not that guy. He's cool. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <coughs> oh, I see. I see. Sorry, I'm catching up on what you were saying about um, Helldivers 2. Starship Troopers in game form. People keep saying that a lot about that game. <coughs> oh man, we only got 20 more minutes, huh? We just need um, like a fun video. Oh, I got a video. I sent you two of them. First of all, I sent you Ronald McDonald and I think I've seen it. This? What do you know. what do you want me to look at? I don't know why you just didn't search them like nothing. It was just a fan art of him. It was really good. Um I hate that this is in my search history now. Sorry. Um <laughs> just delete it. Pull up my very first stream. Oh my gosh, you guys. Hold on. Let me see if I can do it. I don't really have a lot of stuff. I really don't have a lot of stuff. Why am I logged out? Hold on. Okay, if, if I can log into my Instagram, I'll show you some of my older posts. Oh, uh, sure, whatever. Okay. So here's the gram. Let me see, I'll move my, uh, oops, shit. Move me over here. Um, so we'll go through some of the old stuff. I don't have a lot of, uh, Hold on, let me see if it's just on reels because sometimes they convert over. I don't know if they would have. It's like a very ancient post. Sorry, it used to sing. This is the one. This is the one thing I have. And look at it, it's literally broski in this. Isn't that so fucking crazy, broski? Okay, hold on. Let me uh let me just uh mute that. This is an <gasps> I'm literally filming it on my phone. I don't know if you can tell because like clips, clips like didn't exist. This is Twitch. This is, this is what Twitch was. It's so crazy. That was a wig. I used to wear wigs all the time. I'm pretty sure I had red hair during this time, but this was, this was in 2015. I was probably, 18. Eight, well, it's April. 18. I was eight. 19. I was 19. Yeah, I was 19. Yeah, I was 19. This is my college dorm room. And look at me. I'm trying to get money to uh, make cosplays and stuff. And so this is my dorm room. I didn't live. It would have been like my side and then a roommate side. But I moved in the summer. And so they uh, they moved me into my own room. So I got the whole place to myself. And so I would just stream in the middle of the room. I know, how did you get $50 when you were like 15? I don't know. <laughs> Hi, Roddy. 
Oh my gosh, light. Hi, we're looking through old stuff. This is from this is from one of my first streams ever a long time ago in 2015. <laughs> oh my gosh, I should show you guys. I should show you guys some of my old videos, but they're so cringe. They're so cringe. I don't even know if I want to show you. But I have like I have um Maybe on one of my anniversaries, like my stream anniversary or something this year, we can pull up some some old VODs that I have uh, unlisted on my YouTube channel now because they are very cringe. Yeah, pull up the video that I showed you. Why? We're doing a little we're doing a little show and tell. This isn't about fucking Ronald McDonald, dude. Here for the cringe. I didn't know I popped in around when you were new. Yeah, yeah. I had literally just started because I um I don't know what really drew me to streaming. I think it was just like I I think I had a an easier time creating when I was talking to people because initially I was really into like achievement hunter. I was really into rooster teeth. I really, really wanted to make like a gaming channel. Like I wanted to be like Markiplier, you know what I mean? But like back in the day, like I I didn't have the personality to just sit and do. I'm pretty sure, yes. Didn't, like, didn't we meet in real life at, at an RTX? I swear to God. No, didn't we? I swear. Um, I at least met someone in line outside of getting, like, the badges and stuff. Maybe it was someone else because someone else must have like, they they like turned to me and they were like, oh, are you this person? Like my old tag or whatever. And okay, I'm not sure if I, I don't think I would have gone in 2018. I went to very later ones, so. Oh, thanks, Phoenix. So yeah, I started making YouTube videos and I just really didn't have the personality for it. Plus I didn't have the capability of recording content with my face and like I just I couldn't figure it out like it, the technology wasn't really there and I was streaming off of a MacBook Air not a MacBook Pro a MacBook Air so like uh, it was rough that's why I was playing emulators here because I could not get anything else to work um so I would just record footage of me talking over me playing games and then edit it and it was just not very good. Like people didn't didn't really like it. I tried to just like make videos about like make videos almost like vlogging my life, but like voiceover of me playing video games. So like I would I would just be like, hey guys, today I went to this class and this professor said this or like this thing happened in real life and I thought about this. And um it was really weird because like no one also no one really like knew what I looked like and I I don't know. My voice just sounded really weird. I don't know. It was just not, it was just not very good. But I'll show you guys some of them. There were some where I got really sick and I sounded really goofy. But my voice used to be like really low as like a kid. Like as, as like this, this era. Like I was like, hey, like, oh my gosh. Like, ha oh, ha that's so funny. Like it's really, it's a really weird thing. So I don't know. <sighs> That's so crazy, Phoenix. Uh, similar experience. It's so rough. It's so rough. You're way better at live content than editing gameplay. Me too. Unless I'm with someone else. Like I just, I wouldn't know like what to do, you know. Do I prefer making unscripted content? Yes. Yes, and that even goes to uh, like our videos. I do, I like to just talk about our thoughts. I mean, our last video that we did about Cora, I, I put a lot of effort into it and I scripted it and I think it came out pretty well. I think we're working on being present with the camera and like reading our script and having our thoughts and then putting it into the camera in our own way. But sometimes it is really hard like to, to separate script from thoughts to making it feel real and still informative like it's it's a hard thing to do you can do clips for ut of my streams but like just recording and talking to myself feels weird yeah 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 it's weird 
just sitting in your room, it's just so awkward and it's really hard to like get out of your shell when you're, you know, you're not talking to someone. So like chat is like a big crutch for me, especially in the beginning where like I was trying to do different things, you know, trying to figure out what I wanted to do and how I wanted to create stuff. Oh, Broski, thank you. <laughs> You're good, Phoenix. I also can't read. It's like either you spell stuff wrong or I read your fully written sentence wrong. Like there's no in between. Um, this was when I tried speed running once and then I just died. I fucked it up like really bad. And then I ran out of arrows. Oh, fuck me. I ran out of arrows. <laughs> I was like trying to look at, um, like, like different. I love this game. I would speed run this game if I could, if I had the time and commitment, but I really don't. Uh, that's me singing. This is one of my, this is one of my first streams back when I streamed in an apartment off my Xbox. Oh my God, I can't walk in this game. And it was it's not so synced at all. I'll sell you my toenails or something. Would you like that? Would you like that? Do I risk it for the biscuit right now? I don't know, man. This wood ain't worth passing out over. It's a fact, ladies. Farm girl, ooh. New pants, dude, he's looking at my ass. Where is my house in relation to where I am? <laughs> uh, where do you think he hides this egg? <laughs> uh oh. I still think he puts it in his ass. If I don't win this, I'm gonna shut off the game and never play it again. Oh my god! Uh, she always wins. I watched her. Oh my god. She probably just pulled them out of her ovaries, if we're being real here. There's no way. I picked up, like, seven. Wow, I literally. <laughs> Abigail the worst is such a cheater game. ass. But this is gonna suck. Okay, never mind. I guess if you just complain, then everything's gonna be fine. Oh my god, I can't <laughs> walk in this. She game. sucks. So Fuck Abigail. Um, I don't know. It came up before this. It came. Yeah, maybe I. I don't know. Twenty. Twenty fifteen. Oh my gosh, I have so many playthroughs of uh. I have Stardew. It's so good. Big egg? Okay, a large egg. Hey, thanks. 26. Dog. Or should I say chicken? <laughs> uh, taste. He gone. Thought. Oh my god, this is so not funny. This is so Look cringe. at that emo guy. He's just standing there in the rain. That's what I did too. Same. Oh my god, it's burned into your brain. Oh god. Bangs, dyed my hair black. It's true. <laughs> oh god, it's so loud. I'm sorry. What is yeah, this? Is Why did I worst. do that? I don't know anything about video games. I don't know how weird I'm legally ab allowed to be on stream. I didn't look so. at that. So this is a big egg? Okay, a large egg. Okay, okay. Um, <laughs> this is real content. This is, um, oh my gosh, this is one of my favorite videos ever with with Nathan. Oh, got him. Oh, did not get that guy, but. Okay. Push. Oh, oh. God. nice, you saved that. Saved you. Oh, oh, run, run, get back, hide. Run where? No, no, oh, no, no, no. this guy in here. Oh, I got him. We gotta oh, hide. We gotta God. get out of here. Oh, we're in why? the HQ. Why? What's That's happening? Why. This is HQ. Yeah. I'll close close this the door. door. Close this door. Oh. Close this door, <laughs> sir. <laughs> yeah, just keep closing. <laughs> <laughs> we're I thought I said no, no solicitors today. <laughs> Yeah, sorry, sir. We're closed. <laughs> uh, I died. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what happens when you try closing the door. door. Yeah. <laughs> this is my favorite clip ever. Oh, it's so yeah. funny. Oh my gosh, I never had so much fun until I played games with you. So fun. 
Ah, uh, shut up. You're so mean. Uh, he said my my last edits are trash. So mean. Get out of here. Okay, and then we did some other ones. This one's funny as fuck. Well, it's just chaotic, honestly. It's just Halo 5. We got really into Halo 5. We were good at Halo <laughs> We were good. And we were good. We would just get in Warhawks, and I would be the gunner, and he would drive, and I would go, bop, 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 fucking kill everybody. Dude, it was so fun. Mm -hmm. So fun. You mostly play NBA 2K20. Why don't you just go outside and play basketball? Watch and learn, everybody. Dead now. Dead now. Round two fight. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck me. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I accidentally got in the driver's seat. Like, I don't know what happened. No way. No way. Can you drive me? I'm gonna drive you right now. Give me a second. Right. You're gonna drive me crazy if you keep acting like that. Oh, no. oh, no. <gasps> you dick! No, no. Get the fuck up! <laughs> Wait, let me in, let me in! <laughs> Hi, Jack. My name's not Jack! <laughs> Hi, Jack. <laughs> they, they, didn't, they didn't get my joke. I said, I said, I said, hi, Jack, and I said, my name's not Jack, and then they said it was hijacked. You must like play NBA 2K20. Why don't you just go outside and play basketball? Watch them. Okay, that was a funny one. And then, uh, <sighs> what other funny ones do we got? This is where Siler edited for me a little bit. Sorry. Um, this one, this one. I try to be silly with this one. It's really stupid. Fuck! Oh. First game in the, in the tub, in the garbage. Let's go! <laughs> yeah. Sorry if it's so loud. <laughs> it's just, it's a montage of me dying. <laughs> This one? Is this the one where you look at me? No, or this treasure, one? The treasure one, yeah. No, it's oh, this, this, one. this one? Hold on. Yeah. I want to do this one because I think this one has you in it. I live my dream of of coaching wrestling through him. So I think it really evens out. Make a good team. Yeah, we do. I don't know what's happening. Ah, you can't kiss me. Um, um, I, I say, I'm just being sarcastic saying banned. that. Um, I, I live my I dream of, of coaching wrestling through him. So I think it really evens out. Hi, cowboy. Hi, Raymond. I got nervous. I got nervous for TOS. I got scared. I live my. I just like the way he looks at me like that one. This one you like? Yeah. Are you sure? Hello. Are you an enemy? Oh god. Oh god. This is my edit, but it was way at the beginning of my editing. Oh. Can I jump? Did you just <laughs> Shit. Go kid, go. Does this bring trauma to you? Um Brooke. Why you climb so slow? <laughs> PTSD. Better than my boring average life. Oh god, I don't have stamina. I don't have st <laughs> How long are my arms if I can touch both of the sides of my apartments at once? Um, I think your arm length is about like uh, a third of your body height or something. I don't know. Yeah, have you ever seen The Incredibles? You know that um, thick AF wife that that guy has that stretches everywhere? Those are my arms. So silly. So silly. No, not yet. 
We're at 2356. We have four minutes to go because I started late last uh, uh, yesterday. Where's the, the, the Zelda one with the treasure? That's my favorite one. Um, I think it's just a clip. Oh. I don't know if I posted that. It's like my favorite clip ever. Where? You know what I'm talking about? Where you're like trying to clean away the water? Like, oh, yeah. I posted, I posted that one on my... Uh, Sorry, we're looking at Ronald McDonald. <laughs> this one's here. Um, shorts. Sure, it's, it's on here. Uh, my Whoa, my chest. Where's the volume? There it is. Who's, who is that guy? Who's that king guy? He's daddy. Sorry. Guy. You see it fall. Give me the year, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> what the fuck? What'd you think was gonna happen? I thought it would stay there. I thought it was heavy. I just like how that guy comes in doing a front flip. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see what else is good. Mario Kart. This game. this is a really good one. Of us. What are you doing? I don't know yeah, what I'm. I'm just. Push, I'm just pressing push, buttons. Push, I forgot push, how to play the push, game. Push. I don't know what I'm doing. Ah! Point towards the wall. I literally just mash all the buttons. Get in there. Long jump. L A L A. I don't know what that means. Los a. Angeles. I have never pressed that before. You weren't even. I I, I literally uh, pressed no, L and A and didn't do anything. No, you don't have to man play it for no, me. No no no. Left the the back left. Just wait before you move. Before you move. I pressed L! You said L! No, this, this L. one! Then say ZL! Z L. Oh, that's not even when, That's not even L! That's not even L! Oh, yes, it is! Z L. Oh. Z L. We still fucking talk like that what every the day. Hell? Oh, no! Ah. Run into it! You I'm, I'm, stop I'm, stopping! What are you doing? Why are you yelling at me in the past? <laughs> I wish I could. You gotta run into it! You're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you wanna just jump like that again? Be bitches. <laughs> what are you doing? I don't know yeah, what I'm, I'm just. I'm... Oh my gosh. Um. Yeah. Then I started posting like a little bit of content and stuff. Content. That's it. That's it. Fun stuff. Well, that's it, guys. That's Thank the earliest thing. By. And we got what? Oh my god. We have thirty seconds. Thirty seconds left. Less about? than a minute. It's right here. Oh. I'll let you. 24, 23, 22, 21. Yeah, get, get, yeah. Woo! Should we record it? Wait, we need cake. I think we're going to eat cake. <coughs> I said eat cake. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, we're almost there. We're almost there. We're almost at 24 hours. Woo! Yay! Thank you, everybody! <laughs> Thank you for being here! I can get off and go to sleep! Oh, yeah. I can sleep! We can go watch Dune again! I'm so fucking excited! Would I do it again? I would do it again, yeah. I think what I would want to do next is... I would love to do like an uncapped subathon, like a tipathon, like any kind of amount would work, you know, like I think that would be really fun. I would just love to go for as long as I can, you know, like as long as people want me to go. Like, I think that would be really fun. You're dead. You're dead. I know I can sleep. Oh my gosh. 36 hour stream next Wednesday. Mm -hmm. We can schedule it in. We can schedule it. Oh my goodness. Happy New Year. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Oh my goodness. I I love you all Happy so birthday. much. Thank you, Happy Red birthday. Shade. I just want to say, like, I I am so grateful. I'm so grateful to be back streaming. I truly love doing this so much. I love talking to people online. I love forming this community. And I I can't do this without you guys. 
so I just I hope that everything I do is worth it for you that's that's all I want at the end of the day like that's what I want I want to give you content that you enjoy watching that you can come in and you know kick your feet up at the end of the day and come in and chill and I am so grateful and I can't wait to keep going I I am so grateful I know like Nathan himself has has sacrificed a lot and he's he's working at a job and he you know he fucking hates it but you know we're doing what we can to make it work and we're we're doing what we can so that I can have this job because I love it and it's something obviously that I've kept coming back to since 2015 you know and um I I truly love it and I love I love the community that we've we've created here and I feel like every day it just keeps getting better and better I'm so grateful so so grateful for everybody <laughs> here's the cake again hot burf I'm gonna go eat some now finally <laughs> Hat burf. It smells so good, you guys. It smells so good. I feel like I get I get weird. Like I feel like I I feel like sometimes I can't get emotional, but then other times like I really I literally was gonna cry and then Nathan came in here and I was like, it's embarrassing to cry. I can't cry. I can't do it. I can't do it. But seriously, I'm I'm so grateful for everybody. Brooke, so fucking grateful that you started streaming and that we've gotten closer because you started streaming. Chai, I am forever, forever, forever grateful for you and the love that you show me and my community and just all the support of everybody in your fucking community. Like, I don't think anybody in your community would be the same without you. You know what I mean? Like, you are such a pillar of, of everything and... Broski, fucking like seeing that clip and seeing you there from 2015, dude, it means the world to me that you that you come back and you're still here. And even if it's just for a minute, you know what I mean? I know you got other shit going on in your life and you're growing up and you you have all of your relationships and, and everything. But I, I, it just means so much that, you know, we can still stay connected in this way and you know light all the support that you've given me and knowing you for the past god like nine years is so insane and all the friends that we've all made i read smart really good okay if i don't make it here i'm doing audiobooks okay that's what i learned from this stream <laughs> cowboy oh my god same to you cowboy your support is just amazing you you always come in and you're so supportive and so funny so fun to talk to you. Mogan, it's been a pleasure to get to know you lately. Star Shooter, I know you haven't been here lately, but I appreciate you. I appreciate all the conversations we've shared and getting to know you more. Phoenix, thank you so much for like staying for like from a raid. You're here and we read Smut together and you're just, you're amazing. And I, I can't wait to see more of you. Bactrian, I literally dream of you. You are my dream woman. Like... <laughs> Nathan's getting sad that I said that. <laughs> but like, I just like, seriously, and it's so weird. It's so weird. And this might make me cry. Like literally back trans is going to make me cry. Because literally since I met you back train, I like have wanted a friend like you. <laughs> You're that bitch. And like, I know it sounds so silly because like we haven't even met, but like I tell him all the time. I'm like, I fucking love back training so much. Like your energy and literally like every stream you go to, everyone's like back train is the bitch. Like <laughs> it's in the name. You own it. Like it's so amazing. And like, I just feel, I just feel like we vibe so well together. <laughs> and I've always just wanted such, such a fun and supportive and like you're into everything I'm into. And it's just, it's so amazing. And I'm just so grateful. Oh my God. I will never destroy your marriage. She she promised right now she'll never destroy the marriage. <laughs> uh, 
Oh my gosh. I'm so grateful that I can like give you just like an ounce of what you give to me. Like it's, ugh, ugh. I'm going to throw up. <laughs> oh my gosh. And Chloe, thank you so much for hanging out. It's been a pleasure. It's been a pleasure getting to know everybody. And oh my God, Miss Molly Mac. How could I forget? I can't forget. I can never forget. My newest, newest friend, Miss Molly Mac. And you guys, can I spill the beans, Molly? Can I spill the beans? But we'll be an emotional. Thank God I didn't wear eyeliner. I know, dude. I didn't even put on makeup. I fucking cleaned my face this morning and I was like, I'm not doing anything. <laughs> I fucking don't want to. The beans. Well, I was just going to say that you invited me to, to do something. Bean spillage. I know I'll always be new here, but remember, when I come into here, I can escape from everything in my life. I'm so grateful that I can be a space that you can just, just like get away from the troubles in your life and bring you somewhere to have fun and just scream and voice act for fucking Colonel Sanders. <clears throat> well, so you know, we unlocked some really fun stuff today in our sub goals the past 24 hours for our kingdom hearts and skyrim so we are going to start some new games but most importantly miss molly mac and i are going to be playing some games together we're going to be co-streaming and i'm so fucking excited i cannot tell you molly like i just i love feminine energy i love i love women <laughs> and when you ask me to play games with you I literally danced around my kitchen and I was screaming because like that it means so much to me and I feel like we will be so fucking fun so fucking fun together like so chaotic like I just I'm so fucking excited oh, so that's coming soon we just have to figure out like the schedule and stuff I know Molly does stream a little bit later than me so we'll figure it out and we'll let you guys know when it happens and yeah we'll be like co-streaming together and I'm really so excited so fucking excited oh my gosh cowboy i love oh my gosh cowboy ah when did you get ck sub do you sub did you get gifted are you ck fanboy now are you always in the ck chat cowboy how did i not know this <laughs> oh my goodness oh my goodness but yeah everybody i i love you all I love you all. I've, I've felt especially so loved in the past couple months. And I just, I feel such good things this year. I feel such good things. And I knew, I knew that, that it was going to be hard getting back into streaming. And it was really rough. It was really rough. There were times where I was like, why the fuck did I quit my job? Why am I putting so much pressure on this guy? Um, yes, back train and red shade won the merch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you for saying that, Phoenix. Um, but I really, I really felt a lot of love this year and, uh, I'm, I'm just so grateful. I'm so grateful. And thank you guys for such a memorable birthday too. I, I won't forget this one cause I'll have it on video. <laughs> shout out, huge shout out to Mr. Doctor. Literally backbone of my life. I know, I know we say other people lift me up, but literally the backbone of my life. One hand. I can't, one hand, like some people in my dreams. <laughs> if you know, you know. <laughs> no, um, I love him. I, I can't do this without him. So I know I can't do it without you, but I literally can't do it without him. So even though we, we laugh at him for not being able to make polls. I figured it out. He figured it out. 20, 24 hours later. I'm running on fumes here. <laughs> Sorry. It's my closing statements. Are you, you want me to stop talking? <laughs> yeah, you hype me up just to bring, shoot me back. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to yeah, say a word? Back. Yeah, thank you guys for being here. I appreciate your support to my beautiful wife. She deserves it. <laughs> Thanks. 28 is, looks good. Looks real good. Thank you. If you guys had to guess, how old do you think I'd be? <laughs> well, you didn't know. I don't know. I just didn't know if people knew how old I am. 
Oh, I did. It's on my Instagram. I do have a picture of the cake. I think I have it on my phone too. I am 47. God damn, 47. No, I'm not 47. Thank you. <laughs> what? Oh, 47. Nice. <laughs> 22. Not a day over 12. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. I better not be reading smut at 12. 16 and a half? I'm confused on that one. <laughs> Is that your birthday? <laughs> no, half. Yeah, my birthday's in September. I'm half. This is my half birthday. It's a half half celebration, 24 hour stream. <laughs> you would, huh? You would. <laughs> I don't like when people say that. Anyway, I will leave you guys. <sighs> huh? Oh, yeah. Let's do it. Uh, Gabby should be online. Let me see if I can she's, figure she's it out. Like 37 minutes streams. Is she gone? Just she's just chatting. Ancient Aliens has a game. Go follow Gabby if you guys don't. No, that's not streaming. Oh, so fun. Oh, my gosh. This is going to be crazy. Okay. Yeah, let's raid Gabby. She my home girl. Oh God. <laughs> Why did I go to Pokemon Smasher Pass? <laughs> okay. Um Raid. Oh shit. Raid. Okay, you guys. Thank you, Delia. And it's been such a pleasure to get to know you, especially like through 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 your streams and through um, Brooke. Raid message. Yeah, we could just do, um, I don't know. Do you guys want to do something different? Do you want to do the raid command? Everyone's sub now, so we can do, we can do something like this, like. Like this. Everyone's sub now, so you can use that. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I will see you guys on Friday. Take care. Drink water. I'm going to go fucking be a zombie potato on my couch for the next 48 hours. <laughs> I love you all. Thank you for such a, a wonderful 24 hours. Can't imagine better company to spend it with. Bye. I love you guys.